I'm not, yeah, just give me a moment here. I gotta check this out. Sims of the time. <laughs> You won't stop hurting. <laughs> <laughs> you feel it too, don't you? I love this man so much. <laughs> oh, he's awesome. You feel it too, don't you? It's such a wonderful pronunciation. It's, it's, it's slow and then it's really, really fast. It's not just the pronunciation. I think he, like... <laughs> He knows exactly what syllables to emphasize wrongly. Yeah. <laughs> to make yeah. it funny. <laughs> you feel it too, don't you? Don't you? Alright, well, I think we're pretty much ready. Yes. Yeah. So, right. you guys remember we are what we last time? More or less. I was in a really bad position being indebted to two different groups now. Mm -hmm. I'm doing great. Wow. No, you're not. You are <laughs> you, somehow you were. below You've gone me. You've sleep and are waking up with since then, so... Uh... I got all my blood back. I'm not indebted to two groups. I'm indebted to one, maybe. But, yeah. Doing all right? Excuse me, I believe you and I formed a partnership. We Meaning have that whoever, a, I, whoever I'm in depth to, you're in depth to. We have an unofficial agreement. Primarily. Welcome to the business. I'm afraid that due to financial difficulties, we will be withholding your pay for the time being. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's not the fair. I won't be able to pay you. You will be buying your supplies out of your own pocket. Uh... <laughs> That's okay, my pockets are deep and full of gold. Just that right. I would need for you to pay off my debt. Oh yeah, how much is your debt? Mm. Um, about one bag of cocaine worth. Uh, it's a that's few thousand not dollars. not that much. You actually oh, could cover yeah. it if you needed yeah. to. Do, 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 could. I mean, could just do that, but... Same time. I don't know. Anyway, don't so know. we're picking up the next evening. Uh, everyone is waking up. Uh, Zima, you are feeling very sick as you wake up. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Doing great. Yeah. And uh, you wake up in a pot, in like a stain of some sort of slimy, <laughs> oozy substance. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Okay. This is uh Yuri Do I hear you again? Yeah. You feel fine. <laughs> okay, I'll uh get out and greet him. Good morning. Good morning, Yuri. Uh Did I uh Oh dear oh dear. It must you have been quite night, Yuri. the party yesterday. I see. We're, uh, How much do you remember? I remember. I remember. Oh, what do I remember? I, I feel see. full. I feel full, and I feel. Uh, I feel somehow indebted to yet more people. Do you remember why you feel full? Well, I imagine it has something to do with the uh, malaise of the morning. Indeed. You got high as a kite. Excellent. Okay, then that explains well. No, it doesn't explain the ooze. What's with the ooze, Yuri? Ryan, did he puke it up or was it just slime when we got back? Oh, no, that was a, that was a slimy Nosferatu, I think, just sitting on the couch that I fell asleep. But that, that was to do with um, the KGB side of the story. Yeah, I don't think uh, Yuri is aware of that yet. Yeah, so I'll tell you, I don't know. 
Oh dear. Did uh, you see any slugs about? No, I do not. I do have something for you, though. Oh. Uh -huh. I'll give him the uh, the letter. Do you mind if I have a shower first? I would uh, like to not be covered in slime. No, they will. Be my guest. So I'll just go have a shower and yeah, come back out and read the letter. All right. So what does the letter say? Yeah, the letter says pretty much what I said last time. Uh, it is a letter of introduction uh, from the bishop to the priest of the filthy aristocrats pack, uh, saying that uh, he may find uh, examining you interesting. All right. Yuri, do tell who, what, what is any of this? Uh, do explain this letter to me. Well, you see, you made some uh, dealings yesterday while I was a kite. Does it sound did. like me? You did not sound like you yesterday. Oh dear. You did not act like Apologies. you either, for the record. Mm. That's well, good. What dealings did I make? You agreed to pay a somewhat hefty fine in order to be accepted into this club. <laughs> oh, did I? Oh, how, much, how much was the fine then? I'll tell him the exact amount I owe. <laughs> oh, how much well, is the exact round, amount? Round it, up, round it up to the nearest, uh, like, appropriate hundred or whatever. Yeah, nine, oh yeah, 49 cents. <laughs> <laughs> how, much, how, much do you, how much do you owe exactly? Uh, it's a few thousand sorry, dollars. How much do with I the, owe? Yeah, Son of a bitch. Uh, it would cut. It would basically cut your resources pretty much in half for the time being. Okay, so six and a half grand thereabouts. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a hefty debt. How did the how did that happen? Apparently, it is very expensive to be to be a member of the filthy aristocrats club. Can I roll to check deception, please? Uh, yeah, give me a perception plus empathy. <laughs> Should I roll manipulation? Yeah, we'll do that? manipulation plus subterfuge afterwards. All right, okay. perception plus, what was it? Empathy. Empathy, all right. Uh, that's four. All right. Manipulation plus subterfuge. Eight, specialty in deceit. Son of a bitch, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Did you plan all along? <laughs> there was actually something I came up with on the spot. Oh. Uh, you can't. You basically tied. So. Uh, <laughs> oh, lucky you. It seems sort of believable, but also maybe not. Oh. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Who do who who are the filthy aristocrats pack, and who are the? Well, I remember the uh, the the the. What are they called again? Salat. The 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 the, 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 the kind of group in Miami that is that kind of gave the invitation to you. That was Sabat, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the Sabat Bishop that actually gave you the, the bishop. Uh, that was it. Letter. Okay, the Sabat Bishop. Okay, so I, I rem yes. Okay, so I remember the bishop vaguely, and I remember who they are. But who are the uh, the filthy aristocrats pack? I figured you would know more about it than I. You are a member, after all. I am not. And for the record, well, I do not wish to be. Very well. I could not afford such a debt at the moment. Yeah, well, neither could I, apparently. Well, actually, yes, I could. But let's <laughs> let's uh, <laughs> let's take things one step at a time. First of all, I need to convert this to cash somehow. Actually, hold on. Uh, I forgot something before. I have the merit enchanting voice for my um, manipulation role. Ah, which is okay. Should we roll that again? Or? Well, uh, basically, you didn't really. 
Yeah, I already had your difficulty up high, so I think you guys are fine. Basically, you don't know that he's lying necessarily, but you, it's but not so, like you believe him off. outright either. Yeah, something kind of just feels yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hmm. All right. Well, first things first, I suppose. I need to convert this gold to cash at some point. Actually, get a bit of liquid assets. That would probably be ideal. Indeed. So, how to go about that? Converting beautiful, beautiful gold into American currency. Perhaps a pawn shop. Yeah, maybe, but you never know when you're getting a fair deal. Uh, it is the most efficient, though. All right, let's go to a pawn shop. Very really well, I shall follow you. All right. All right. So you two are going Start. to a pawn shop. Remember that this is Saturday, and so uh, at that evening, uh, you do have Camarilla Court as well. It's later in the okay. evening, like around midnight, so you do have a little bit of time. Uh, yeah. That occurs. All right. Okay. So before we deal with uh, your adventures trying to get money, uh, we'll move <laughs> over to the others. I don't know if uh, Natasha or Zima or Tioma have something they want to do as they wake up. Oh, by the way, oh, the other thing that I probably mentioned to Yuri and Zima is you still you have a samovar in your room now too. I forgot that they left it in there. Oh, a what? A samovar. It's a Russian thing for making. Oh, tea. of course, the the instrument, yeah. We get samovars. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know if you three have anything. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll, I don't, I, I don't think I have anything to do. But uh, you know, I would, I would like to go out and try to make some contact at some point. All right. I don't know if your companions would like to accompany you. Oh yeah. Out onto the town. I will have to go with him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So where exactly are you guys planning on making your contacts? Uh, well, I think a, a good place to start would um to go somewhere and see about it to be a private and guess investigator. You mean like a license? Uh. To be a licensed legal one, yes. All right. Well, I suppose. I suppose the first place that uh. Hmm. Where do you get a private investigator's license? Well, I am gonna say you will have a little bit of trouble considering you guys are illegal immigrants. So. Yeah. Ah. Uh, okay. Oh. Well, I, I would think that the best place to start making contacts would be in the in the seedier uh, parts of town. All right. So, uh, <laughs> well, you guys can share the same bus since the pawn shops in the seedier side of town are pretty close to one another. Yeah. Excellent. Let's do it. Um, eventually, once we. Uh, well, we're on the bus. Can I ask? Can I inquire as to the nature of the ooze? <laughs> Still fucking curious about that one. Mm. All right. All right. So I don't know if anyone would like to explain the stuff that was left in their apartment, or if you guys are just gonna play it cool. Can't play, you can't play a puddle of ooze cool. There's no playing around that. Well, if it's not in your apartment, if it's in someone else's apartment, then you can absolutely play it cool. Yeah. 
Apparently, you just get stared. What? Seema <laughs> tries to be like, oh, by the way, about the uh, the ooze. And three men just stare at her. Oh, sorry, two men and a woman. You know. I'm not getting an accent out of you, am I? Yeah, like, she always Natasha. The KGB like, faction has expanded to include Alexei. Apparently, now. Alexei's not going to say anything either. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, that was a, a grand old waste of time. David's name is lighting up, although I can't hear anything from him. Yeah, Dave, you're oh, speaking oh. right now? Oh, I'm hearing him. There was still something. Um, right. I can't. Oh, there he is, yeah. Alright. So, you guys uh, take the bus down to the... Uh... I'm not sure how we're making contacts. This is, this is worrying the time. <laughs> what kind of contacts are we making? What? <laughs> well, I, I asked, and then no one said anything except for Solid. No, so. You were going into the seedier areas uh, I, oh, to make some criminal it, contacts. I'm, I'm some, some criminal contacts? Yeah. Well, yeah. So we want to, like, to find criminal, people right? selling drugs in the street and make friends with them. I'm just imagining oh, Tiana wow, goes, we need some criminal contacts, and then Alexei just goes, Hi. Alexei. <laughs> <laughs> Beef. <laughs> oh, my. Interesting. I assume you guys are going to try and go to a bar or something. Well, what kind of criminal contacts do you want? Because we've already got drug dealers in our party now. Yeah. And a thief. I was going to say, if you want to be an, a private investigator, and maybe not a legitimate one... I don't know that criminals are our way to go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't... Apparently the victims of the criminals. There's nothing to stop you just, like, opening a shop as a private investigator. I mean, well, there are things to stop you, but I'm saying unless the police know that you've done it, there's nothing right. to stop you. No, this, this is a free capitalist society, Zach. <laughs> there's nothing stopping us. Well, we do have several barriers. <laughs> Except for the Better Business Bureau, the yes, Chamber of Commerce. Right. Zach, it is our right. As illegal immigrants, <laughs> to set up whatever business we want. <laughs> to set up whatever business we want, not pay taxes on it, and still take advantage of what social services the country offers. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, we can't call ourselves private investigators. We would be. But anyway, yeah, I've got to, I've got to call into question criminal contacts, because we've already got criminals in our party. Mm -hmm. Unless you want to look for a specific kind of criminal. Problems, and then we'll help solve those problems, and that's how we'll establish ourselves as. So, so you're looking for a bunch of NPCs. So you're a fucking RPG here, all of a sudden. I was, yeah, so I was about to say, so we're looking for NPCs with exclamation marks over their heads. So yeah. where would you go to find someone who needed an investigator, but maybe didn't care if you were licensed or professional? A season. bar. <laughs> <laughs> you answered that so straightly, it's great. <laughs> well, because it's actually coming around. <laughs> no, I wasn't I wasn't disagreeing with the seedier part of the town. I was disagreeing with the criminals. Yeah. Because I don't believe that everybody in the seedier part of town is right. a criminal. That was all we I We don't want criminals, we want poor people. Exactly. What the fuck, I thought you were KGB. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't speaking as Natasha. I was speaking um, as myself. <laughs> sorry, okay, fair. <laughs> so, you guys I, are going, going to the city. All right. right. Yeah. So, <laughs> just to be clear, exclamation point what part of the seat, your part of town are you going to? Are you going into the bars? Are you going around Walmarts? Should we just go into a bar and, like, put up the, the piece of paper with, like, the telephone number on the little tabs, right? And yeah, you can do and that. Like, need help? Call this number and, like, walk. <laughs> Picture of, like, yes. a bicep and a gun <laughs> so that they know. <laughs> You're badass. He is involved. Uh, it's always funny. Um... <laughs> And also, what the fuck do people also, use before the internet? They put bulletin things. boards. They use yeah. bullet, physical bulletin boards. You pay in like in cities, did cities have bulletin boards? Yeah. So like, I know I can I can picture what 
small town bulletin boards look like? But what's a city bulletin board look well, like? Well, it's not a city bulletin board. Usually, like, you go to an establishment where your subculture hangs out. For instance, if you really like punk music mm. and you want someone to help you form a punk band, you go to a bar where a lot of punk bands play and you mm. pin it up on a bulletin right. board next yeah, to the you door. Right, have to target your... Right. Yeah. 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 So that's why you guys are going into the seedier part of town. That's why we're going into the seedier part. And also, I could I could try to read people's auras to see if there's like anyone that's in, uh, you know, to some type of conflict. The thing like, is, though, in order to do that, you guys are going to need a piece of paper. And like, are you going to write it out yourself, or are you guys going to go down to a Kinko's? Well, we don't have, we don't have a typewriter or anything. We're going to have to just hand write it. Yeah. I mean, cause you could shit. go to like a coffee shop and have it like made for you. It costs a little bit of money. Yeah, I was gonna say we have some money. You gotta but have a fucking handwritten you note on a professional a notice board. <laughs> a fucking scrap of paper on a napkin. I'm just saying, what kind, how you're presenting yourself will affect who calls you. We need to be a little more professional. Because I don't know if you would trust just some hand scrawl thing on it. Depends, I guess, on how needy you are. I don't know. I don't know. I'll leave that up to uh, Star Wars. I'm sorry, what? (laughs) So, they were debating whether or not it's worth it to try and make, like, a nice... Uh, like advertisement for yourselves, like get some office supplies, acquire them somehow, and then uh, basically make a proper advertisement. Oh, yes, yes, it is worth it. All right, so (laughs) okay, (laughs) so now I'm I'm still trying to figure out exactly what we're doing. So how are you going to acquire? First, we need to go acquire proper advertisement. Right, which either requires so some I'll money. So I'll give that to Alexi and Tioma. So you can try and do it yourself if you steal the proper equipment. For in, if someone, so tell someone, someone in the three of you somehow steals. Mm-hmm. Can I? Can I be a cunt? Roll this button. Roll this button. Mm-hmm. You can always so, be a cunt, David. Thanks. <laughs> so um. Our goal is to set up some kind of, as informal as it might be, some kind of like private investigating, private consulting business yeah, okay. thing. Yeah, you're saying it's mm-hmm. our goal. I think it's Stalworth's goal. <laughs> I'm just it is my goal. Well, I'm you're informal. going along with it pretty well. Um, you're welcome to join in, I guess. I don't know that Stalworth would stop. I, I, as I recall, you basically came to you were scared of everyone else, so you were sticking with these guys. <laughs> that was how I remembered it from last week, but I don't know. Yeah, well, no. So, I mean, yeah. So, so Stalworth said it, and Mary seemed... Well, you know, it'd just I'm be a nice well. little, little way to get some income, you know? Yeah. Okay, so no, I, I don't disagree. I just wanted to... Clarify. Yes, that that is where what we're is at it? right now. We're attempting okay. to set up some sort of informal investigative service, um, and we need to create a sign. There, so this is our first problem. Cool. So, get is Walmart a thing? Markers and paper, or <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure Walmart's a thing. I'm sure. Is Walmart a thing in the eighties? Zach, yeah. you're old. Yeah. I mean, you can find a general store that will sell you yeah. the supplies you need. Get a Rite Aid. And will they have a printer as well? What was that? Will they have a printer? Oh, wait. Um, yeah, will they have a printer? Well, you could, if you can make up something, then you could make copies at a place. You could find, like, a copy machine. Um, mm. Otherwise, you may need to go to, like, an actual printing shop to get it done for you. Hmm. You guys are going to have to go down to the library with, like, a big thing of change <laughs> and start putting it into the, uh, copy machine. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. Um, 
So yeah, so hmm. So yeah, it would be cheaper for you guys to make it on your own, because then you would just need to steal the supplies. Otherwise you'd be find some way to get a little bit of money and what you could go to like the like artistic shop. what would an artistic role of making up a side be? It would probably be a crafts role. I would say. Which one of y'all got crafts? I do not have crafts. Don't the drug dealer got crafts? How do I make this look professional? Find me a crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know that Alexei has some crafts. Oh, yeah. I'm a crafty guy. Okay, well, Alexei, we're going to get you some art supplies. And oh boy, gonna, my creative size. And you're gonna do a little, um, and you're gonna do a little, uh, little artsy. Yes, I am. All right, sounds good. I think we got a plan. All mm -hmm. right. So where are you gonna go to get the art supplies? Um, well, to the to the art supplies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and how are you going to acquire them? We need an initial cash injection, guy. Well, we could just steal it. Or you could just steal it. It's a shame you don't know a wealthy and powerful man. Yeah, but you Shut only have gold. Shut up, <laughs> That's the problem. I'm fixing that. All your money is in gold. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I would... I you guys have some negative money gold gold right gold now. Gold. At least we're on zero. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... He is going to a pawn shop, so you guys could go with him. And I guess. And then... I'm going to get the money changed, and all of your friends start coming with you. <laughs> start yeah. selling our legs. Yeah. Uh, I guess. I mean, oh, if you, hang on. If you think work. about it, our limbs do grow back. So if you wanted to create a sort of organ harvesting operation, you could probably do that on your I own. I mean, your time. organs are dead. Yeah, so. I was going to say once they leave us. So no, we can't, and they'll just turn to ash once we take them out of our bodies, uh... right? Here you go, one unfunctioning kidney. Um, you yeah, they, 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 if they are exposed to sunlight, and also, like, they're inside your body, they're desiccated. Okay. Oh, That's wow. why bullets inflict, uh, like, bashing damage rather than lethal damage, because none of your organs function. Okay. All right, so, so, Star Wars. Yes. So, you want us to just steal the supplies? Yes, I mean, I'm also <laughs> dealing with the spies. I mean, we mean, we mean you. Alright, so, alright, so let's just, well, let's just, you know, project, let's just, uh, predict how this will go, so. We'll go to some sort of shop with the supplies and shoplift. And then we will have all of the supplies to make a, a, a poster. And then... You want us to make a, the posters all by hand, or go to photocopy them somewhere? Because you can't steal a photocopying machine, so we're still going to need cash at some stage. Hold up. One sec. <laughs> i got to think about this. So depending on how professional you want the photoshopping to do, I mean, it might not be that expensive to just make copies once you have one that you like. Right. You would just need yeah, some small Yeah, well, like, even if it costs, like, a dime, we got to go find... Yeah, you would either like, find like, a dime. Steal it. You could try. You could try and panhandle for it. If you, it is a small enough amount that if you wanted to, you could do that. I guess. <laughs> Need help? <laughs> <Cardboard>. <laughs> He's sitting next to the poster that he made. Need money for copies. We'll investigate for food. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> How do we get a welfare check How? that we can spend on it? So, like, How so like do I need to be? You, can get, you can get money for donating um, blood, right? Pick pocket. Pick pocket? Uh... Well, yes, in America, there actually is a fairly robust um, yeah, blood you, trade. Be you should not do that for vampire blood. blood. Um, Don't be a pussy. Huh. I'm not. I'm being smart. That's being a pussy. <laughs> I 
I guess so it's how a pickpocketing check would be just a straight dexterity check. How so bad sorry, would it be? Can I apply with my sword? Yeah. So I have like a roll of seven. So you're going to try and lift someone's wallet? So that's Wait. your option. <laughs> I have a roll of seven to lift okay. somebody's wallet. Okay. So alternatively, how bad would it be if we gave blood? Uh, we went down and we plasma. Very, very, very bad. Uh, because you're far enough in the 80s. I think they're, they've started testing because they're freaking out about AIDS right now. So I'm pretty sure you're going to show up as an abnormality. I mean, I mean, not really. AIDS is a very specific test, I think. Well, That's I'm saying that they're, they're testing the blood now. Like, Vampiric Vitae is clearly not human like, blood. They're probably going to test oh, okay, okay. They're, okay. they're not just going to take it from anyone without testing it anymore because they know okay, that so that's yeah, bad. You don't, <laughs> okay, I mean, so it's like a different between blood to mouth juice. They do a blood pressure test and everything. Figure out <laughs> yeah, after your blood pressure is zero. Check your pulse and your blood pressure because it's got to go through the machine. <laughs> you, and they're gonna, you're going to show up as dead. Yeah, okay, it's very dangerous. Alright. Alright. So this this how this how I was imagining the flyer gonna look like. Now look, you know, <laughs> we can uh we can go steal this stuff. Uh, I mean I, you know I can smooth talk someone or I could try to use my uh I don't know something to try to steal it. <laughs> I was going to say, I can pickpocket. So, well, I don't know if I can pickpocket, but I've got a fairly good roll. You can good try and do that, yes. I've got a fairly good roll for pickpocketing. Okay, sounds good to me. Capitalist with a thick wallet. Yes, that sounds fine to me. Alright, we'll try that. Okay. In, in interest of speeding this up, I'll say that was the most <sighs> sensible of all the ideas I've heard. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. So, what is your roll? It would be seven. Okay. All right. So, yeah, as you're out, you uh, eventually spot someone. You go up to him, lift the wallet, and walk off. Now, inside, when you check it later, you can find there are, like, credit cards, ID, um, and then there is also, I'll roll a number, all right, there is $21 in cash in the wallet as well. Okay, that should be our initial infusion. If you want to try again, you can do so. I mean, art supplies shouldn't be that difficult. And copies All right. are not. But, you know, if we need more cash later on, I can try again. All right. All right, you got 21 bucks, Stalworth. That's what you got. So while you guys plan this out, we'll go back over to the other two trying to get money from these pawn shops <laughs> with their gold doubloons. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Everyone is trying to get money, and we'll see who accumulates the most money by the time you guys meet up to go to the prince's court. Who accumulates the most pennies they find? <laughs> this is like, if you've ever thought it was really glamorous to be a vampire, this will disabuse you of the notion. We gotta meet yeah. the city prince, mm. but first we gotta lift some guy's wallet. Living All right. the dream. So, the two of you... Uh, eventually find a pawn shop, and uh, you can head in. And it is a uh, bored-looking man sitting behind, like, a heavy-duty cage, essentially, to keep himself safe. Uh, and there's a little, like, beeper. He looks up as you enter. All right, all right, Seema. Oh, sure, sure. You got the money? I have the money, but uh, I don't know. I feel you have a, a better way with words than I do. Would you like to take this? Before that, um, out of character, am I aware of how much money these are worth, like per piece? Because I know um, is. Well, from what you are, uh, I can tell him if I will. I, I can. Like, yeah, from what you were there when Anastasia told him, so you know the yeah, it's uh, you know about how much the whole group of coins is worth, so you can do the math to grand. fraction it out if you need to. Yeah. It was 14 grand. I gave a grand of it for the boat ride, I think. And uh, 
Yeah, yeah 13, 13 grand left. Okay. 13 grand, yeah. That's about what you're arguing for. Okay. Well, he's probably not got too much cash over here. It's just a basic pawn shop, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Should we, should we try to get like $2,000 off? Yeah. That sounds about right. Okay. I will take out one and a half thousand dollars worth of uh, the plumes. And I'll go and present them. All right. Greetings, sir. Let me just make a note of this real quick. Oops. How so, much uh, do you think you could pay for these things? You put them down the counter, and he looks at them. <laughs> and he says. These, uh, hmm, I've never had someone come in with pieces of gold before. <laughs> I, not as, I mean, obviously, some gold, not gold pieces like you'd have in a Dungeons and Dragons game. <laughs> yes, I'm not surprised to hear that. It is a Yar. family heirloom, quite, quite old. I was hoping, I was hoping to... <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping to get an estimate of the worth. Well, he says I could uh, pay you in cash. In which case, he looks at them, says I'll give you $1,000 for the lot. Alternatively, I could give you uh, merchandise as well, in which case you might have a more profitable... Uh, profit margin. What does he have in the shop? Uh, well, you look around. He's got uh, like some musical instruments. Uh, there's some guns. <laughs> Saxophone, Yuri. It's a good deal. <laughs> uh, some aging uh, electronics, and this is the '80s. So when I say aging, I mean like yeah. black and white televisions. Yeah. All right. Anything, anything, can we take a look around to see if there's anything valuable? Like, if like, oh, actually guns. worth? Yes. Would be neat. Give uh, me a, uh, perception plus finance. I've got five. I've got... Where I have a huge sense. Oh, I've sorry, a huge, um, a huge hearing. A huge sight, fuck. A cute, I've got three. I can hear the good deals. <laughs> 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 Alright, you look around. Um, and you do find, actually, in the store, uh, there's, like, a uh, kind of old, sort of beat-up computer that's listed for, uh, not very much. But, uh, you feel like it's probably worth, it's probably listed lower because this guy doesn't really know, understand electronics. <laughs> so I kind of... Kind of lean over to Yuri, just say, Yuri, we could really use a computer. So for a few hundred dollars, you could get an old, like, 70s Apple IIe. Get yes, us. We need a computer. By a Tremere. <laughs> yeah. Get a computer. So I'll, I'll go and talk to him again. Yeah. I was hoping for a little more than a thousand dollars, but how about this? You give us that uh, beat up old computer over there, a some arms for both of us, just a basic pistol, and nine hundred dollars, and it's yours. He looks at you, looks at the gold, and he says, seven hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, eight hundred and fifty. Enchanting voice. <laughs> Enchanting voice. <laughs> All right. Give me a uh, <laughs> charisma plus empathy. In Charlie was what? Charisma plus empathy. Six. He says seven fifty, and I'll throw in ammo for the guns. Ooh. <laughs> oh, we'll be able to shoot them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, we forgot. How, how much ammo? How much? <laughs> It could be true. One bullet for each. Uh, he'll give you uh, a box of uh, nine millimeter. Nice. And the box okay. will have like. That's, actually, that's better ammo. than the money, because otherwise yeah, we were going to get it going with no ammo. <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad deal actually. <laughs> Folks, I take that. Deal. 
Vulcan Zuck, he's such a crafty games master. <laughs> <laughs> games master. Well, you, you'll find like it in real life when you go there master. and just expect that ammo will Isn't magically appear called? in the gun. It does not. <laughs> Sorry? Alright, so yeah, he gives you the money, he lets you uh, take the computer, and uh, he gives you each uh, a handgun and some ammo. And he tells you not to mention where you bought any of this. Obviously. Very well, very nice. And then you say, well, you don't mention where you got those to blow, sir. <laughs> Iron uh, matey. We be thanking you for your I'll just tell him. No, I will, I will tell him. Let's just both forget this happened. And then, yeah. and then Miles turns to Vox and goes, Now, back to <laughs> Tartuga! <laughs> yeah, her. <laughs> All right. right then, let's head back with our stuff and uh, All right, so, so we've got uh, 11.5k in gold left, $375 each um, uh, a 9mm and some ammo Alright, <laughs> so you guys Great. are loaded up for drug dealing <laughs> and Indeed. for gold shifting Drug dealing and lip dealing Alright Yeah so we'll go back to the other guys. Uh, so you are buying art supplies, yes? And then trying to build that sign that uh, Stalworth has. So uh, buying it is no problem with the money you have. Uh, actually making it is going to be a dexterity plus crafts roll. Me? Yeah, I assume so. Four. Alright. We got this crafty guy. So crafty. Alright. <laughs> so he's putting together this uh, poster, and it looks okay. Even to my aesthetic yeah, eye. Yeah, it looks alright. It's not great. You know. All right. It looks alright. Alright. So, uh, you guys... We have on there all offers considered. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to pay us in guns or computers? What, we'll what take them. No job too small. Interesting offers offers considered. Yeah. Interesting offers considered. All right. So, uh... <laughs> so, you guys go down to a copy place, get some copies made, and then, uh, you guys are posting them at, like, sleazy bars? Yeah. All right. The sleaziest. I don't know if it needs to be sleazy. We can do a, you know, something a little more. So yes, the sleazy bars as well. <laughs> so those two go to sleazy bars. In I here. will do something a little more upscale. All right. I mean, we'll just do it at every bar we see. You're putting together your own advertisements for like a dance performance. <laughs> something. Mm. I would like to do some dance. Actually, that's... I mean, that's true, Mary. We could, like... I don't I know. Got the well, supplies. Would you, would you come to a small or something? <laughs> but I'm not going to advertise my dancing skills in a sleazy bar. Because I'm no, not going to do it. If you would you actually let me talk ever, I was going to say, would we contact a theater or something? <laughs> yes, I was. As um. I went to... Um, I don't necessarily want to work... As a human, because that's going to present some difficulties. But I thought once we went to the Camarilla, when I introduced myself to the Camarilla, there might be um, okay. performance opportunities because for that. You yeah. guys could think about if you did want to stay in practice, you could actually start advertising for like an underground sort of dance thing, like an independent. You well, wanted to set up street dancing, yeah. uh, like step so, yeah, two. Eventually, yes, I was gonna. Um, but yes, that's another good idea. We could. You've do... got the supplies to make a poster. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so let roll it again. Four. Let's see how well he comes up with my uh, <laughs> underground dance poster. Does it look crappy? <laughs> <laughs> it's not nearly as good as the other one. I see that one there. <laughs> <laughs> it looks <Oops>. all right. <laughs> It looks all right. All right. 
You may get interesting people. Well, all right, that's fine. Maybe they need help with some problems. <laughs> that's true. There could be overlap. So. All right. So uh, you guys have made up your posters. You distributed them. And then you get back around the same time that uh, these guys are getting back with their computer. The pirates come back. The pirates come back with their gold and cash <laughs> and computer and guns. Yes, all right. How did we get into this situation? So yeah, you guys basically walk in to find them like trying to figure out how a computer works. <laughs> Yuri, do you ever? Do either of us know what we're doing with this thing? The first thing I remember is meeting you, so no, I did not. <laughs> Bugger. Uh, is there a computing skill? There it is. Oh, fuck. There is a computer skill. <laughs> Yuri, reach into the void. Tell me your computer skill. No. It's uh, zero. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, it's over. That's okay. I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure it's a straight computer. intelligence role. What then. is... Does he recognize what it is? Yeah, I'm saying you guys come back and you see that they have a computer that they're trying to figure out. Alexei uh, would recognize the computer, yeah. Will recognize it as a computer, not necessarily the model, but... Yeah. Welcome home. Welcome home. Did you, uh... You made a a noise of recognition there. Have you ever seen one of these before? Yeah. Very good. Uh, Oh, Could you, uh, I love them very much. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the uh, odd button? <laughs> How do you make the screen go white? <laughs> I'll, I will show you, my friend. All right, Thank you. Uh, given this is a learning opportunity, could we spend some XP to actually put some skill into computers? Uh, you're going to yeah. have to wait for your downtime, but yes, with uh, Alexei's help, he can teach you how to. Okay, cool. You really shouldn't know it's not a very useful skill. <laughs> Listen, right. if we have a computer, it's a useful skill. So give okay. me... Uh, I feel like an, you're overestimating. And give me an intelligence <laughs> plus computers, Alexei. Seven with a oh uh, well yeah seven with a specialty. Right. What's the you specialty? Really do, you really do love computers. Numbers. Huh? Numbers, okay. All right. So uh, yeah, you get it booted up pretty well. Uh, you send them out for some compressed air, and they come back, and you use it to clean out the insides, get it going nice again, and uh, yeah, you get it running. With this, you could actually. Theoretically, if you somehow got a printer, you could start making uh, your own posters for whatever you wanted. The important thing is, can I play Crisis? (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Does it run Doom? It doesn't come out for another 15 years, I think. No, it's not. I'm going to look that up, actually. Can this run Doom? Doom Not in the 80s. Can I play Mighty Max? It can play King's Quest 1. <laughs> nice. Hey, nice. He what is that, like a fucking text Nintendo. game or something? <laughs> no, Doom came out in 1993. That? That's a shame. The original Nintendo out yet? Uh, the original Nintendo... E... Yeah. The uh, Hanafuda card game Super was out, so, you know. System? Yeah, the original Nintendo is out with the original uh, lineup of games. Is the original Metal Gear out? Uh, no, the original Metal Gear that... for the MSX? Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. Maybe. You're right around that time where I would have to look at the exact date, but you're in the neighborhood, yes. Nice. Okay. That's, that's pretty horrid. We um, can make Metal Gear references. Excellent. Well, you guys do not have nearly a computer strong enough to run we Metal Gear, fucking, my friend. We can, say, we can say Sins of the Tyrone in character. That, that one is like 20, 30 years later. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so. Anyway, so yes, uh, Alexei successfully gets the computer running. Uh, obviously, you could do... It's pretty old, uh, but you there are some things you could do. You could start, you know, improving it, get some, you know, more space on there, stuff like that. 
new part, yeah. There is a working cassette drive on it, so that's good. So if you guys have any, uh, like, data cassettes, you can read them on there. Uh, okay, very good. If we get a printer, I could actually do some translation work on the side, because I know a fuck ton of languages. That could work. Yeah, make a, a little bit of extra money on top of the mountains of money we have. <laughs> and if you one, guys one uh, somehow got I'm... the number to dial into a network somehow, you could use the phone lines uh, to do that. Ooh. Very good. One of them actually got to the I'll be right yeah, back. Yeah, that's true. And I'm sure it doesn't have a built-in modem. No, it does not. Actually, you know what? I'll I'll roll for a random chance to see if it has a mo that the modem came with it. All right, you have a modem with it as well. Wow! This nice. Is a good spot. <laughs> I have excellent business acumen. He basically you said that? acumen. He basically just threw in everything with it. Uh, what it does not have, however, is a mouse standard, so it's just a keyboard. Okay, um, Windows, I don't think is open. <laughs> no. It's, it's around yet, so there's no point in moving a mouse around. <laughs> it's true. Since <laughs> you're just typing in commands. Mm. Also, you guys wouldn't get Windows anyway, since it's an Apple product. All right. So, is there anything else you guys would like to do before you guys head to court? Uh, feed, maybe? I mean, personally, I'm good, but I'll go with y'all. All right, so who all what is... is my no, I'm fine. I don't have to feed. Does anyone else want to go out to feed? I'm good. I don't want y'all to wait just to me, then. <laughs> so you can just go? Tough it out? Um, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll manage. All right. So, then we come around to court, which is being held, uh, look up where they're holding it. Ah, yes, the Miami Dade Cultural Center, which is sort of a museum. So you guys grab the bus there. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so as you approach, you can see that it's closed up for the night. However, there seem to be several people in attendance, and the lights are on. Not several in, like, you know, dozens and dozens, but it looks like court is being held. We'll get off the bus and go in. All right. Apparently. Everyone's waiting for right. not trepidatiously. I will <laughs> walk forward. All right. And I will, I will enter. So All right. Follow me. So you guys head in, and inside, uh, basically, there is a security guard on duty who opens the door for you and lets you in. He seems uh, like he's in on whatever's happening. And you guys are taken through into a main gallery where there are lots of different people all milling around. Um, looking around, you do see a couple of familiar faces. I was say the uh, and um, Tito, or whatever. Yes, name. Mina and Tito are there, and they uh, wave to you as you come in. Oh, the slime. Yes, the slimy girl. Nice. Hello, what, what's this about the slime? I know. It's here, the slime's here. The sauce of the slime. You bitch! 
<laughs> the slime girl. I don't think it's a slime girl. Where's the Lamia girl? Am I right? Mm. Hey. Hey. Hora, hora. Anyway. <laughs> Moving on. I yeah. got the reference. So, <laughs> like I said, people are just milling around, and you guys enter, and most of the group seems to be ignoring you, except for, as I said, Nina and Tito. So can we start milling around as well, or? Yeah, if you want to. <laughs> nice. Nina and Tito. All right. Is, are we at the um, the thing, the uh, the the ball, the, the meeting, the um? Oh Jesus! Court. Court. Yes, that was it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're at the court. Okay. I'll join the conversation with Nina and Tito. All right. So let's say back to the one who was friendly with them. <laughs> Do I see any random patterns around? <laughs> I like say he sees me and he's like, oh, I guess I'll uh, I'll just check her out, see, you know, not check her out, obviously. No, but you just you know, just, uh, just see. You know. Double check, double check. I will study her very carefully. I will uh, enthusiastically offer a handshake. And maybe, yeah, you know, maybe if we happen to bump if, into if each other, maybe she flies a little else bit. Then. You know, that happens. No, I'm joking. Any interest in the slime? Is purely out of character. <laughs> and in character. <laughs> in character, these Alexei's probably a normal guy. Probably. I don't know. You're I think it would be mean of me to impose my personality that hard on my fictional character. <laughs> so David himself loves slime, but Alexei not so much. Alexei. Exactly. I feel like Alexei is like uh, the people with like repressed homosexuality. Like he wants the slime. Mm -hmm. He just doesn't understand that he wants it yet. <laughs> well, because the internet isn't developed enough. Right. Yeah. That's why. We need to get through the Wonder Bread years before we get to the slime. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. All right. So you two are going over to talk to Mina and Tito. Uh, where is everyone else going? I'm going to talk to the slime bitch. Alright. <laughs> also going over to Mina. Yeah. It's not that special, you know. <laughs> I I've never woken up slimed before, let's say let's just go with that. Sure. I'm All gonna right. go All right. try to charm people who look important. Okay. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say he's gonna try well, I term the slime girl. Tina and Tito, who the important people were first. So that I was <laughs> he's making a guess. He's trying right. to get a head start. Alrighty, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> you do that. <laughs> and Yuri. I would look at random patterns, see if I can find anything. Alright, that's right. We'll start with you then. Alright. What is your eyes a chaos roll? Uh, let me check it out. Uh, did you, what, what's that? Did you, did you remember? I don't remember now. Well, then one second, I'll look it up in the book. Perception plus something, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I believe it's... It might be a cult. Empathy? <laughs> Well, um, I'm on it. Just one moment here. Ah, it's okay. Yes, there it is. Uh, perception of cold. You're correct. Yeah. All right. What is it? Five special team people. All right. Sorry, say eight. Eight special team people. What am I saying? Okay. I will roll more dice. Thank you. <laughs> so you start uh, looking around. And uh, you get the distinct impression as though, uh, like, sides are being taken. Even though people are intermixing, it's like they're, uh, sometimes they're mixing to strategize, and other times they're mixing to engage in some sort of combat with each other. <laughs> and I see. then, you're not sure exactly, at first you think it's obviously the elders that are manipulating their pawns. Um, and then you can see that it seems to be something else developing. You think maybe there's something greater here going on than just the normal uh, games the Kindred play in court. Hmm. Interesting. You get the sense that a larger power is moving. All right. I'll keep that in mind. 
Oh, and also you get a sense of for a foreboding doom as well. Oh, but that's just oh, no. that's, that's just like always around. <laughs> <laughs> just to be clear on this, uh, I don't have the dark fate flaw sack. <laughs> just making that absolutely sure. Do you remember uh, a couple of weeks ago when uh, the prelude started? Yeah, that was when the forbidding doom started. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Anyway, it's definitely still there. So, uh, gotcha. now we'll move over to Tioma. Uh, give me a uh, perception plus empathy here. That is eight Actually, with two specialties. Perception plus politics. Ah. Uh, well, that is four. <laughs> no specialties. No, have perception has sense. <laughs> Mm. All right. So uh, you do absolutely spot the most important. You're the, you spot the person who you're pretty sure is the prince. Um, you're actually high up. And you did well enough that you know you shouldn't just go up to him, though. So you look around for someone slightly less important. Important enough you want to talk to him, but less important enough that you're not going to get in trouble for just going up cold and trying to talk to them. Well, I'm glad that... I'm glad that uh, I did well enough to know that because I probably would have just walked up to the prince and talked. <laughs> yeah. When you do that, when you get like max successes, <laughs> I give you a little bit. Of All right. So who who's the second in command I can talk to? So you're looking around. Uh, there are a number of people who look like uh, Primogen here as well. You can kind of tentatively identify them and make a guess about the clans based on how you see them behaving. So you can see that there seems to be a primogen for pretty much all of the uh, seven Camarilla clans present. Um, it's up to you which one you would like to talk to, although probably it makes the most sense to approach your own primogen first. Definitely. I'm, I'll go talk to the uh, Malkavian. All right. So, uh, you start to approach him, and he seems to be the easiest one to spot, actually. Now that you uh, think about it, as you approach him, it seems like you never really determined who the Malkavian Primogen was. You just knew it as soon as you entered. That makes sense. Uh, okay, is that some type of power or something? Uh, it's because you're all nuts. <laughs> it's something. Oh, okay. It's not so it's like group insanity or something. Yeah, there is uh, a man in a very nice business suit who is just kind of sitting off on his own. And, uh, yeah, you decide to approach him. And uh, he acknowledges you as you approach and motions for you to take a seat on a uh, bench next to him. Uh, no, as I'm sitting down on the bench, I start checking the bench for any type of wires or bugs or anything. <laughs> and after I finish checking, I, you know, I check over my shoulder, I look around, and I sit down next to him on the bench. All right. He says, uh, be at ease, Tioma. There is no need for concern here. No, your name. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, I have already disabled the traps left by your enemies. No. Uh, I, I knew it. I knew that they were trying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, sir. Uh, I, it's nice to meet you. Um, I am Artyom. As you already know, somehow. <laughs> well, he says after a little while, I presume you are here to see the prince. Uh, yes, I am. I have to, we, we, uh, I've come to, uh, What's the word? Present yourself. Yes, present myself. Yes, I see. 
Well, of course, you should do that. Uh, there will be time for such presentations in a little bit. I will uh, let you know when. Thank you. And, uh, okay, out of character. Mm -hmm. How important is the primogen? Um, well, it Very. depends on how much personal power the primogen wields. So there could be a weak primogen, in which case they're not really worth anything. Um, alternatively, if a primogen is really old, he may be more powerful than the prince, and he just doesn't want to be the one in charge who everyone is gunning for. So he takes a job as primogen instead. And can I get a sense on which one he is? Uh, you get a sense that you should respect him, because he is the elder of your clan in this city. Uh, I see, okay. Well, well, I'm trying to decide what level of suck up I should go to because I don't want to go to suck up to the point where they're calling on me to do everything but I don't want to make it seem like I don't care yeah well so I'm going to that uh, mid suck up point <laughs> <laughs> trying to hit the mid point I see yeah. work the shaft but not quite to the balls <laughs> well as you're trying to decide what level of suck up you should engage in uh, he asks uh, if your business uh, has been uh, going well. If the startup has proceeded okay, without not, difficulty. This paranoia is going to kick in that this guy knows everything about you. Well, I... Actually, actually, it's a good thing to point that out. Uh, the paranoia is not in effect since as the elder of your clan, okay. he is actually trustworthy. <laughs> So, elder so, plant and pretty girl. These are our category. Actually, being oh, around him, he seems to have just this aura of calm about him. It really puts your mind at ease in a way that you haven't felt. Haven't felt. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, I'll. Uh, in that case. I'll let him know that you know that I that I trust him and that I and that I uh, I'm willing to let him know that you know if anybody you you know that you would need some cash flow. Obviously, he knows a lot about you, and that you've come to this strange land um, without a lot of resources and any and any you know any business he might throw your way. Ah, that's a good idea. Yes, I'll, I'll let them know that you know the, the the business startup has been going well, and that any jobs or anything we that you know, like, you know, to slide my way that I'll you know I'll take you know, and I also you know anything to help the clan, you know, anything for the clan. I see. Are you uh, in need of finances? Yes. All right. Uh, he just kind of claps his hands, and then uh, you see a man approach from just out of nowhere. He's just suddenly next to you, um, and he and he uh, basically presents a checkbook, and the guy he just takes it, and then he writes it out to cash, and then rips it off and hands it to you. Well, on the inside, now I feel like I owe him something. Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you do. If you're not sure exactly how much you owe him because he's kindly left the amount it's made out to blank for you. <laughs> oh, no. All right. <laughs> well, I'll, uh, I'll let him know. I mean, not he probably that already that knows, that but that I'll, I'll that tell that him that, that anything he wants in the future, you know, I'll be there for him. All right, good. You're really in boom debt to this guy already. That's awesome in like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, that, that happened quickly. Yeah, he says, and I will see to it that uh, you do not face undue harassment in your business ventures. Oh, oh he, he really going out his way to help me. Yeah. Yeah, you do. I I see some type of you know life threatening mission in the future. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's gonna be us. 
It is a primogen's duty to look out for the best interest of the members of his clan. Oh, yeah. Christ. No, yeah, we're gonna right. nice. he's going to be your biggest customer. And we're going to be solving things for him a lot. Because, because. Yeah. he continues on, of course, a clan must all be able to depend on every member to do what's best for the good of the clan. Yes, of course. There's no uh, A chain is only as strong as its weakest link. And I refuse to be the weakest link in this chain. Fortunately, it only matters that you're not the weakest. So second weakest still holds yeah. strong until it breaks. <laughs> So do I like kiss his ring or something before I go? Like, like, you, you kiss something. <laughs> wow. Uh, he will let you if you want to, but uh, <laughs> it's up to you. It's up to you. Uh, mm, that, yes, that will, of course, incur further debt. Wait, kiss the ring? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Well, yeah. uh, yeah. I'll... I'll uh, I'll, I'll give him a bow, and uh, I'll thank him once again. <laughs> All right. All right. So, <laughs> as that goes on, hey, you guys have money now. Okay. Yeah, a blank okay. check. Oh, Jesus. So. Cash that in for a burger or something. Don't <laughs> spend. I don't feel like, spend I don't feel money. like the boon is going to be the same either way. Yeah. yeah, I guess. I guess. Yeah, probably. All right. Oh, <laughs> you, now you have to decide how much can I get away with. <laughs> yeah. Through banking, I have to get this done. As soon as you, yeah. as, yeah. as soon as you said the check was blank. Uh, I've been agonizing on how much to write down. <laughs> uh, it's like spring at this point. You, you're not going to probably make it there in baking hours. Yeah, okay. So so you're just holding on to it for a while. unless we Until you can find a human to do it for you. Until we find somebody to cash that check for us anyway. Um. All right. So meanwhile, uh, the remaining three of you hmm. go up to talk to Mina and Tito. All right, my information was that Nina is more important than Tito. Mm -hmm. From the well, they're both and neonates. They're both neonates, but she's almost not a neonate. So um, she's old like, enough that she probably shouldn't be a neonate anymore, but she's just sort of naive and friendly. So, All right. so as you guys approach, uh, Mina steps forward to introduce herself to Zima. And she holds out a tentacle-like hand to you and says, Hi, my name's Mina. I will shake the hand. All right. No, I'll shake the start. Bad start. Shake the hand. Good evening, Mina. Listen, I have a, a strip, perhaps. Uh, well, I've never seen a, a woman... Yeah. Uh, Excrete mucus, quite like you do. <laughs> I did find a rather large puddle on my bed this morning. We haven't done anything on wow, have we? Wow, I am like shocked. I think I charisma <laughs> one. It's not very nice. You shouldn't do that. Let me check what my charisma I actually apologize. is. Oh, it's two. Okay. For it's my one now. Companion. <laughs> it's one now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a permanent charisma reduction right there. Yeah, can we revoke his extra charisma? <laughs> yeah. Wait, do you know this woman? Well, why didn't you tell me? We did. <laughs> you, you fucking oh stepped off into space. Oh my god. I am so sorry. You just can't bring a bruja to these things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. You really can't. Can I, can I go back to being a uh, clan caitiff? So, <laughs> I don't um, want to be associated with this guy. Yes, I will, <laughs> if I can, I will steer Nina away from this and apologizing profusely <laughs> for the rudeness of the bruja, which I'm sure she understands, and thank her oh so much for, you know, her helpful um, information from yesterday and... Here we are, and you know, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> um, so, 
how do these things generally go? I don't need a let say to handle Yuri. It'd just be like, oh my god. All right. Well, uh, I'm not trying to solve this situation. He's just a cunt. <laughs> so, uh, she says, well, um, the prince will uh, already knows that there are going to be new people here tonight, so he'll he'll let you know when you should present yourselves. Um, it it shouldn't be anything uh, too bad. Um, you should just go and uh, say who you are. And then um, mm -hmm. there you go. I, I think he he already knows that you're with the you know the yeah you know. anarchs. Yeah. So okay. But, well, thank you, Nina, for your help. I thank you very know, much. Is there like after the presentations? Is there entertainment or what are the expectations? Do you is there a dance off? Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she says, well, uh, sometimes there are entertainments. Um, tonight, uh, I don't think there's going to, to be anything. It's just looking at the paintings. Um, are there any, um, do you think there's anyone that we should introduce ourselves besides the prince? Well, uh, if you want to uh, talk to your primogen, I can point them out. Oh, that would be extremely helpful. Thank you. And I don't think you guys ever told her your clans. Uh, I am Toriador. Uh, then true. <laughs> then true. Uh, I'm just going to let you speak it yourself. The best clan. Uh huh. I can the finally best say best that now. <laughs> <laughs> I can say that without going to Gulag. <laughs> Not until you get back, anyway. Yeah. Mm. Well, I have um, recording. she points out uh, each of the uh, your clan's primogen who are here. I can look them up for a second. And do I notice Tioma talking to? Uh, yes. And I will ask her who that is as well. I'm gonna pull up my sheet. Lots of loads. All right. So first off, uh, she points out uh, Fleur de Mal, the uh, Tory or Primogen. A man or a woman? Uh, a woman. Uh, she points out that the person that uh, Tioma is talking to is Sebastian Lear, the Malkavian primogen. I don't think Tioma got his name. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't. I'm like Jack of them, though. And uh, she kind of whispers that maybe you should be careful around that one. Uh -oh. uh, she will point out, just in case you're curious, uh, Enrico Jensen, the uh, Bruja primogen. <laughs> Am I listening to this? Do I hear this? Uh, no, you, you got left behind, but she will point it out for the others to relate to you once they get around to it. Okay. <laughs> can't take you anywhere. Oh my gosh. Um, and there is no uh, Venture Primogen because the prince is oh. Venture. Of um, if you're a Venture, she says, then you should probably go talk to him privately to let him know that you're all in the same club. <laughs> in that same arrogant club. <laughs> Um, I don't, well, hmm, because he knows you're Anarchs, too, she says. Well, that'll be interesting. Um, normally, I think Venture are supposed to come to him immediately so that they can become part of the Venture hierarchy in the city. Um, and you didn't do that because you're not with the 
Well, you'll figure it out. I think it'll be okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Thank you, Nina. You are so helpful. Yeah, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> I feel like every time we come to these things, we always find ourselves in a hard place eventually. Well, of course. It's a game. <laughs> if everything went well. True. Very true. There'd be no point to the game. Also, you're the, whenever you're the new bitch in town, yeah. I mean, we everyone is, ourselves. you right? basically come in and everyone's like, all right, someone new, we can sink our, you know, right. claws we're, into we're now to the manipulate. We're on the totem pole. Oh, and by the way, on by everybody. This Malkavian primogen just sank in his claws pretty fucking oh, deep. Yeah. We know who you're working for. Yeah, we know you're puppet yeah. master now, Tiona. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. The greatest of the clan. Yeah. Uh, Mina will say, like, in addition to, like, be careful about him, she says he's, uh, I hear he's older than some of the other people around here. Just don't tell, and then she's like, do not tell any Nostradamus that I told you that. That is totally false. <laughs> well, so, hmm. I was going to say, I could probably pick out the other Nostradamus. Yes. So what is there to do for, what's the art scene like, are you, is that at all of interest to you, or? She says, uh, well, I mean, Tito does paintings. Does he? Tito. I know that he likes to show them to people, so if you want to ask him to oh, see. Oh, yes. Very much so. Does he ever paint you? Uh, well, she kind of smiles and the tentacle over to and she says, that was how we met. Oh. That's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully I will be able to talk to you again later, but I should probably go to the door. Yeah. We shall do my thing. Meanwhile, Zima was left behind with Tito. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. So he uh, is just kind of left there looking at you and says, uh, so. So? You said that. No. I did. I apologize if I have offended you. Do you know that woman? <laughs> <laughs> she is my uh, companion. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I am so sorry. <laughs> Tell me. Oh. <laughs> I'd better get the fuck out. I'm sorry. I didn't know she was your girl, bro. <laughs> gotta, be, gotta be confident. When, when tragedy like this strikes, you gotta be confident. You better run away before you make a lesbian joke. You, you sound something. very experienced. Listen. No. Um, uh, let me think. Let me think. Let me... I apologize, but... Uh, Here's some gold. <laughs> Here, here is the goal. Shut up now. Um, I interest you in an Apple computer. <laughs> um, here's the thing. Can we use our knowledge of the 80s to, say, invest in Apple stock? Or... <laughs> no. Um, no. Okay. Damn. Uh, My wish. Yeah. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Uh... My apologies. I, I like to imagine all the like pausing and waiting is in character too. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me think. Let me think. Oh. Around, <laughs> finding things on the ceiling. Um. Yeah. My my apologies for what I said. It was clearly untoward. But uh, I must admit, I did find a rather large puddle of slime on my bed this morning, and she is the only one I've ever met who have had any sort of ability like that. We came to meet the others in your apartment uh, yesterday night. Oh, okay, I see, I see. My apologies then. I got very, very high last night. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't remember a goddamn thing. Have you, ever, have you ever tried smoking the goo? It is fantastic. <laughs> 
is that? I don't remember. I don't remember a goddamn thing. You understand my confusion. I apologize. He says, "Would you uh <laughs> Would you consent to have a portrait drawn of you?" <laughs> would I? Uh, yes, <laughs> but I <I'm> would. <laughs> You haven't seen his painting. Can I can I can I check if he's trying to be if he if he is there any check I can make to see if he's being untoward in any way or? Uh, yeah, give me a perception plus empathy. Yeah, uh, he hates your goals. Well, yeah, but portrait's nice, you know. Uh, perception plus empathy should be four. Uh. He seems not like he's hostile towards you necessarily. Um, he seems just kind of surprised by you, like just intrigued, like he can't believe how this is going. Like, you're a car wreck, and he can't wow. basically. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes, I have uh, no issue with that. <laughs> well, he uh, basically takes out a uh, card and writes on it, and he says, uh, you know. Stop by here when you have the time. Will do. Oh, speaking of stopping by places, I have I have, I've had a letter this morning. Um, I am a, I'm new to the city. I was wondering, could you tell me anything about the, um, what was it, the pack? The, um, uh, all the just, filthy aristocrats. Once again, the I'll filthy. just interject that since you are sort of new to the game, uh, the Camerol and the Sabat do not get along, so you should probably not mention them. Please mention it. <laughs> They're I, actually at war with each other, so... Well, well, I mean, like the thing is, like, A, I, my character doesn't know that, but he doesn't know if they are, if the, if the filthy aristocrats pack are associated with, with either sub. Well, so I, I mean... I, you got a letter of hey, introduction to them from a Sabbat bishop, so... Okay, fair And they're enough, also fair referring enough. themselves as a pack, which is what the Sabbat do. Oh, uh, okay. Right, yeah. In that case, I shan't do that. Um, in the case, yeah, I'll, I will... Well, let me know when is a good time for you. Anytime you wish to stop by is fine. If you but wish to uh, so. come back tomorrow forward. evening, I will be there all night. Ah... Uh. I will have to check, but uh, yes, I will talk. To, I will. Do you have a phone number? <laughs> well, he said it's certainly been interesting speaking with you. If you'll uh, excuse me a moment. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all I've got to. I've got <laughs> little else to say unless Yuri comes back with any. Uh, yeah, so we finished uh, pretty much the first round here in court. So uh, you uh, were going to talk to your primogen room. Yes. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, Alexei, where are you doing? Should, uh, should I find the venture person? I mean, go talk to, like... It, is it going to make it worse that you don't go, or is it going to make it worse that you do go? <laughs> is the question. What's your feeling on venture politics? I guess if so, the did was it Nina? Did Nina ex Verzina? What was it? Nina. Nina. Did she tell me who yeah, the she really the, the, the prince? Yeah. You talk to? Just and are, are they here now? Yes. So yeah, I was. I'm thinking like, if if they saw a Ventro guy introduce himself to the prince out of nowhere, and he'd be like, "Fuck is this person showing <laughs> up? And why haven't they talked to me first? That might piss them off. So I guess I should do that now. So you're going up to the prince. No, so the venture. That is the yeah. the venture primogen. Oh, it's the same the person. Prince. Yes. Yes. Oh well then. I. Yeah. No, there is no venture primogen because the venture, the old, the eldest venture, is the prince. Well, then you're supposed to you're supposed to wait for like official proceedings to start before 
presenting well, yourself to a prince, right? Mo, Mo, yeah, everyone, members of the Camarilla are, but he is also the elder of your clan, so it would be appropriate for most Venture to talk to him beforehand. As a Venture, you're kind of considered cast. higher caste than pretty much everyone else. Because, you know, the Venture think they're the best clan. I will boldly go where no other man has gone. Okay. And I will present myself to the prince. Okay. <laughs> so we'll handle that as well. Uh, oh, so, boy. <laughs> Tioma, what are you doing? Is he freed up? Are we free? Can I catch his eye? Yeah, if you guys want to quickly meet up and exchange information with each other, you can do that now as well. Yes, I would. I would like to. Yeah, let's do it. Yes. <clears throat> So, um, you seem to be uh, in quite a uh, intense conversation there with Sebastian. Ah, uh, yes, in indeed. Um, yeah, I, I definitely owe him a lot. Oh, that's his name, Sebastian. His name's Sebastian. Actually, the thing is, is you already knew his name. It actually doesn't seem weird to you at all when she refers to him as Sebastian. Ah, uh, okay. Well, yes, I, I owe Sebastian quite a lot. Why? <laughs> Why do you owe him a lot? I don't know. Uh, well, you know, not only did he just, he really supported the uh, my dream of becoming this private investigator, he also uh, financially supported this dream with this blank check that he gave me. <laughs> and uh, I, I also Natasha told him that I would uh, do anything for the client. Natasha is looking at you with frank surprise at this point. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, so you've accepted money from him and are in his debt, huh? Yes. Uh, yes, exactly. Do, do you think that is wise? Well, I just when I went to talk to him, I just felt such a such a aura of calm. I was so at peace. I wasn't I wasn't afraid of the bugs or the enemies, and I just I didn't know what came over me. Uh huh. Okay. Well, well, hmm, it was the heat of the moment. Of Sebastian. Now, um, this is unfortunate. Hmm. Well, well. Tioma, dear, <laughs> this, um, well, we're, it's done. What's done is done. Um, maybe we'll just um, hold on to that check for a while and see. What and see. I can speak from experience. He's trustworthy. Um, <laughs> okay. And, and I don't doubt you. <clears throat> But maybe we'll just, um, maybe we should just slow down this relationship <laughs> a little bit until well, everybody gets to know each other better. Oh, I, I, I suppose. Okay. <laughs> oh, my. Um, would you like to join me as I, as I uh, introduce myself to uh, the Toreador Primogen? Yeah, let's I'd do like it. To keep you by my side. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh so we'll handle that in a minute. So uh, Yuri. Yep. What are you doing? Well, I just wanted to go introduce myself to the prince. What was that? I'm present myself. Go and present myself to the prince. You're gonna go present. All right. Well, you're going up there at the same time as. Uh, is there like a there's a, like an official time to do that, right? Yes, there is. Uh, so but he was not there for that conversation. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm not there. Alexei, well, does Miles' character out. just not know he's supposed to wave? Uh, yes, basically. Oh, I'm Miles. You are going to be going after the prince at the same time, so you can handle it uh, when we get to there. Or not, oh, as, Miles. as the case may be. <laughs> okay, hold on, do I, even, do I even know who the prince is yet? No. Uh, Please don't. You can actually tell pretty easily. He's pretty important. He's the one on a throne. 
<laughs> yeah. With a crown on his head. Well, we'll get to that. So, Zima, what if are you no doing? One, if no one else is going up to him, I'm not doing it either. Well, actually, now that you mention it, Alexei is going up to him. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll go after him then. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to see happen is Alexei oh. <laughs> walking up, not having presented himself when he immediately got there, walking up with the caitiff who has ties to the sabbat. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, this is a good chance himself. because... <laughs> Sorry, there's a ghost. Uh, this is a good chance for Alexei to get in good with the prince, though, by having someone to throw under the bus. I see. Okay. <laughs> I have brought you this Sabat infiltrator. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> All right. Before we get into that, Zemo, what are you doing? Foxy. Yeah, sorry. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? Um, do I have anything to do? I don't know who the. I can just mill around, you know, ask about. All right. Find the other loudmouth, obnoxious guy. That'll be the brouhaha. <laughs> <laughs> How rude. <laughs> uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. If you do want to find yeah, I'll, the brouhaha I'll, primogen, I'll you just, can try and do that. I'll, no, I'll just mill around, ask, like, talk to people, I guess. Okay. Chat. All right. What could possibly go wrong? So, uh, give me a charisma plus etiquette. <laughs> oh. um, etiquette, 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 etiquette. Uh, where, where is etiquette? Uh, it's going to be in the skills. It's a skill. Oh, it's a talent, three. Right? Uh, three. Okay. Skill, yes. All right. So you start milling around, trying to make casual conversation. Uh, and the first person you approach is just sort of a man who's sitting back kind of on his own, and you think, oh, he's on his own, not talking to anyone. Good start. So uh, how exactly do you approach this guy? Like, what do you say first to him? Me? No. No. Um, no. Good evening, friend. Uh -oh. Just a standard good evening. <laughs> so he looks up at you and then says, Yes? What do you want? That was a standard good evening. Hello. Uh, uh, just. Uh, Looking to chat, I suppose. It's a party, is it not? He starts examining you very carefully. Uh-oh. <laughs> and then he says, I think I understand. Uh, understand? We'll be watching. We, uh... <laughs> we? 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 Yeah, we... I think it's a little late. And then he stands up and he walks away. And he start, He goes oh. over to like another group of people and you see him point to you. <laughs> 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 and they all start talking and nodding. And then they Oh, walk. I thought I was going to gal this without any major debts. <laughs> oh, you just... Okay. Yeah, uh, all right. Fuck this. So we'll understand the full ramifications of what you just did in a little bit. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> oh my god. That's that was a botched etiquette roll in case you're curious. <laughs> like a strong I, botch. Uh, oh. I had figured. I had figured. <laughs> we have enmity now. We have party enmity or yeah. he has enmity from some clan. From somebody. Alright. <laughs> so uh it's his own clan. <laughs> meanwhile <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so meanwhile, uh, you guys go up to Floor de Mall. And uh, she's sitting over there with some of the other uh, harpies. And uh, as uh, you approach, uh, you can see that she is uh, drinking uh, what looks to be some sort of red liquid from a flute of some kind. And uh, she motions for you guys to be offered one as well as you approach. Partake. Tioma. 
I'm sorry, what were we partaking in? Uh, they're offering us flutes of, I'm assuming, Vitae. What looks like... What oh. looks like. Let's do it. Alright. So, here's a question. Are you going to drink it? No. I'm just going to hold it. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <That's fine. laughs> He'll just hold it. Well, you know. Are you going to drink it? it? I'll sniff it. Does it smell like... It smells fine. Vitae, whatever. I'll partake. Alright, so you gain a blood point. Okay. <laughs> he's just... I would assume he wouldn't because he's... <laughs> Obviously. You don't know what's in this. Now, Sebastian was near. Of course and I you drink would, it. You drink straight from his veins. Is what you would do. <laughs> of course. The blood of Malkoff flowed through us both. <laughs> yes. I'm aware that I now uh, I may have to become jealous of Sebastian. This new, <laughs> this beautiful man. Anyway. You're gonna become jealous of Sebastian or of Tioma. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I shall introduce myself as Natalia Petronova Krylenka of the Soviet. Whatever my power comes with. All right. Ah, I see. Well, very interesting. Why have you come to uh, America, Natalia? Circumstances beyond my control forced me to expand my horizons into other areas. I see. And this handsome young man accompanying you, he is not one of us, I take it. No, he is just my companion. But Archie Markov Vladimirovich at Nikolaev. Of course. I understand completely, she says. <laughs> uh, well, she says, it's very nice of you to uh, introduce yourself. Uh, have you uh, been informed as to how these proceedings will be going? We were given a rough idea that there would be a time for formal presentation to the prince. Yes. Uh, well, all you need to do is present yourself when that time occurs. I was also wondering if maybe there was an art scene in Miami. I see. You would be interested in staging a performance. Or at least watching one, or being involved in, you know, but, but yes, I would love to uh, hmm. perform dance as well. Well, she says, many uh, members of the clan petition for the right to give a performance uh, at Elysium. Uh, there was supposed to be one tonight, but it seems as though that will not be occurring. Obviously, we have to vet our performers uh, very thoroughly. We don't mean this as any insult to you, of course, but Soviet Russia is a long way away, and so we have not heard of you consequently. Uh, however, if you are given any performances on your own, please uh, inform uh, me, and I will send uh, a representative to observe the performance, and uh, as long as everything is satisfactory, we should be able to uh, arrange something. Thank you. All right. Is there anybody else there of note that I would be interested in? Um, not really. <clears throat> All right. Oh, and uh, as you're kind of finishing up, uh, Mina kind of comes over, though, and does try and grab your guys' attention and uh, points you over towards Zima. Um, and she says... She's... Uh, I may... Seems like your friend might have insulted the Tremere Regent. Which, Which friend was this? This wasn't me, was it? Yes, this was you. you <laughs> oh, dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, they... see, I was just trying to make a friendly conversation. It seemed like an honest mistake. <laughs> Thank you, Mina. 
for letting us know. Uh, who is the regent? Uh, and she points out to where the Tremere are off in their own little clique, making plans. Uh, all right. Well, thank you so much. Um, as we all know, the brew hall. <laughs> Just be aware. Yes, thank you. I will even reach over to pat her. And... All right. It's slimy. It is, yes. But I, I will. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, will, I will refrain from, from... Alexei's like, there's a hot woman touching the other woman's slime. <laughs> yes! <laughs> anyway, um, I, I, Tiama is with me. I'm assuming, um, so I will. I will bring him up to speed on how Zima has been very yeah. uh, insulting, and apparently, um, he, he now has the truth upset him. Um, should I try to talk the situation down? What do we know about Tremere? Are there Tremere in Russia? Uh, yeah, they are and one of probably just... the most Camarilla of all the Camarilla clans. So, the, so the, I mean, Russia isn't Camarilla. Yeah, no, you wouldn't. You know who they are, okay. um, but you don't. You haven't like met any. They're well, enemies. They're, 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 they're all enemies of the state. They don't want us to go up and start talking to them. If someone were going to intervene on your behalf, it would probably be one of your primogen. Now, whether you wanted to impose on one of them in that way, that way nope. you don't oh, think, God. as a Toreador, <laughs> as a Toreador, you don't think it would be appropriate no. to just come up and then say, oh, and by the way, can you handle this for us? Although, Tiona, oh, you do get the impression that, that Sebastian, Sebastian would, would, want to help us out. would mm -hmm. uh, probably be able to step in on your guys' behalf. Nope, I'm good. I already owe him enough. I mean... Well, I mean, it's not anything right now, and it's really Zima's problem, <laughs> I'm thinking, right now. I'm just saying, if you do need someone to involve themselves, eventually, he is Zima, interested. If Zima drags the rest of us into this, <laughs> for the good oh, of yes, possibly, that case. possibly we may have to resort to Sebastian, since you have such a uh, good relationship we, with him right now. We wouldn't want anyone to be dragged into someone else's shit, you KGB fucking bastard. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's for the good of the other. It's for the good of the Soviet. It's not just the yeah, clan the... there. No, okay, it's shanked by the Tremere. That's for the good of me. Thank you uh, very much. So now, we are going to uh, move over uh, to, <laughs> to Alexei and Yuri. So to Alexei. You're moving on to Alexei. Alexei, you approach the prince first. And, All right, so uh, before it's awkward, yeah. do I do I kind of not know just Yuri walking as well? Not and be yet, like, no. Folk? You're, kinda, you're mostly focused on the prince who like, sees oh, you approaching and basically off. locks eyes with you. In that very sure. way. And All right, actually, well. So actually, yeah. he is trying to lock eyes with you. Will you uh, look him back in the eyes? I will absolutely not. <laughs> So here's where I will give you a chance for a uh, intelligence plus etiquette role. I was gonna say, are you looking at the point between? Let's say, here's how I picture Alexa. He's very stiff. He's already got his hand out, <laughs> and he's walking directly toward him. Yeah. Four. Four. So you do actually remember something that your sire told you. Among Ventru, it is considered very disrespectful not to look them in the eyes. And that seems dumb, um, but it's because Ventru are so known for dominating, it's a sign of trust with your elders that you look them directly in the eyes. It's, yeah, because the elders want to dominate and the also, younger people. And you're also, well, it's two things. A, it's a sign of trust, and B, it's a sign that you know that they can control you without having to resort to dominate. <laughs> you are so far beneath them, you're not worth the time to dominate. Fucking Ventru. So anyway... Yeah, point. That is considered polite in venture society. Class. It's up to you whether or not you want to. So can he look at the Mary. spot in between the eyes? Uh, that does not work. No, that does not. You're work. still Mary. I never said it was a good thing that we're the best clan. <laughs> I just said we're the best clan. 
We're the best oh. plan, and I have a lot to live up to. Hey, and I when, am... when I play Marcus, okay, well, I do the same thing. So it's it's. Uh, We're the best clan, and I have to suffer for it. We can't. Exactly. exactly. You're the best clan, and you know you don't want to be the fuck up. <laughs> That, that was Mark of yeah. is terror throughout that entire chronicle. <laughs> Pretty much. I just don't want to be the I don't want to be the fuck up. up. And now it's Alexi's turn. So, with all that now in mind, I will I will look this prince in the eye. Alright. And he does. Um, so I will, fuck like a chicken. I will <laughs> gently and cautiously bow once I'm within whatever I think is the right distance. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I guess I will, I guess I stop, I guess I stop walking closer after bowing. Okay. And then I'll agree myself, I'll introduce myself, so I'll say, hmm, good evening sounds too casual for friends. Do you say My that to him? <laughs> no, I do not say that in me. character. This is, this is player David speaking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so obviously I can't say hey, well, it's the 80s. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or maybe good evening is the best did I get this guy's name uh no you did not are you serious um well actually no you were talking to Mina right yeah we were talking to okay, Mina no yeah she did tell you his name she did, yeah I will look it up for Hello? you alright gosh alright so this is uh, Graham Gotsman. Graham Gotsman. Gotsman. G-O-T. Gotsman. Oh, Gotsman. All right, so I'll say, good evening, Prince Gotsman. <laughs> My name is, let me get this right. This is presumptuous. Uh, is it? <laughs> You're, you're implying that he cares, yeah. Oh, that's true. Well, you have Very to present true. yourself. I, mean, that's I think that's just, that's just the leap of faith I'll have to take. <laughs> <laughs> I am Alexei Alexovich Alexov. <laughs> Are you yeah. serious? Yes. <laughs> that's worse than my Ivan Ivanovich. <laughs> oh, yeah. So. so. Anyway, I am a member of Clan Ventrue. And I have recently arrived from the Soviet Union. I see. And you are here to request a position within uh, the hierarchy. Yes. If you would be so kind. Do you have to join the Camarilla for that? Because, well, the hierarchy means the clan. Well, here's the thing. is uh, It is a little bit vague. In practical terms, yes. Yeah. Theoretically, no, because the Anarchs are part of the Camarilla. Okay. But the thing is, is that they're not a respectable part of the Camarilla, and the whole way you get up there is by showing that you're capable and respectable. Oh, God. So I guess I'll have to disavow the Anarchs? So there is no reason, like I said, there's no reason a crippled person can't win a sprint. Mm-hmm. It's just <laughs> not likely. I mean, all right, so let's think about it. I mean, like, who's going to be pissed if, let's say, just me, be, uh, just I become an official member of the Camarilla? Are, they, are the Anarch guys who let us in here going to be... Yuri Zima are going to be Sabat. I'm going to stick Anarch, just because I like to edge my I have, I have said no such thing. To my being Sabat. I, have, um, I don't think you, you have know who you don't are. have much of a choice anymore. You, are, you actually don't have a say. You are Sabat. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm yeah. in the wrong building then. <laughs> you're, you're, yes, you're you are. I mean, I mean from the, the perspective... Sometimes you don't have a choice. <laughs> so here's my thing, you know. You can get out of it. But uh, you're going to have to start here. working on getting out of that. Mm. And you're here's my thinking about, about this. Really now that it's me or hate you. <laughs> The, so those anarch guys who uh, are kind of who kind of took us in at the start of this chronicle. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, we could be more useful to them if we have connections with the two most important organizations in the world, right? That's true. See, the thing is, is that you don't necessarily 
have to fully join. I mean, like I said, the Anarchs are theoretically part of the Camarilla. And mm. you do have the option for some members of the Coterie might contract with the Sabbat or whatever. Yeah. But we're so, in any contract. playing nice with a faction does not necessarily mean selling your soul to them. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so with all that in mind, yeah, like I said, if you would be so kind, I wish to join the hierarchy. Woo. Yeah. Alright. He says, uh, leave a mailing address, phone number, uh, any other way to contact you, and uh, we will bring you up to date. All right, so I'll say thank you very much. And, uh, and he might be for a ghoul to come forward and basically take your information. All right, so great. Brilliant. Now the camera really knows exactly where we're looking. So okay, as, pretty much as you're about to go away with the ghoul, you turn and you see Yuri coming towards you <laughs> as time slows down. <laughs> so He's like, so can, I, can I look at him and make a gesture of shoo, shoo, <laughs> go away? Now here's the I thing, mean, I have enhanced hearing, so I probably heard that. As things are going into like slow motion, he's walking, looking at the prince, smiling, raising a hand to wave, going, <laughs> diving forward to tackle him to the ground. <laughs> but yes, you do have time to basically shoo him away if you want to. I will do so. Alright, so yes, you, are, you notice that Alexa seems to be like waving you off. He's waving to me. <laughs> well, I should wave back at him. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> if he's actually no, no, going to make that misinterpretation. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> All right, good. Not that dumb. He's waving you off, and that. then you do the thing where you Only I am that keep dumb. walking, and you act like you were casually mm. just going past the guy the whole time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really going to that corner. <laughs> you start checking your pockets, and you're like, oh, shit, and then you turn around. <laughs> yeah. That's the one. All right. Oh, so, as the ghoul is taking your information, he asks for a phone number. He asks uh, for a uh, mailing address. He says the post office box that you've set up for yourself will do. Um, and then he says you also are going to need uh, to let him know a separate number for the fax machine so that they can fax you the details of the meetings. <laughs> we don't have any of these. We don't have any of these uh, first world luxuries he's talking about. Do we? <laughs> You've heard about them, but uh, these things called facsimiles. The secure way to transfer data. <laughs> but suffice to say, you do not have a fax machine or a. Or well, we do have a telephone. You do have a telephone. You do have a mailing address, although it's your home address. <laughs> well, it's the anarch. Safe. It's not yeah, even our. That's true. It's <laughs> not even our address. It's true. I have an email address, probably. Uh, email? No. <laughs> Electronic mail is not a thing yet. Are you serious? Absolutely not. It's crazy. There is. The there is no such thing I'm as not, a. I, I was under. I was under the naive that uh, internet implies email. No. There is not There's even no an internet, internet. service. There's no internet. Yeah. What there is, is there are servers out there that someone has set up that you, if you have the number to them, you can plug in a phone cord and basically dial them up. Right. Not right. even like dial up internet, because there you're dialing up to an yeah. internet service provider. You're dialing up to a right. server. Right. And those yeah. servers right. are not right. connected to each other. We're so, uh, okay. Yeah. Right. So we're, Yeah. Very early. I read this on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> I read about this ancient history. <laughs> I mean, once technology gets started, like a few decades is like ancient. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Crazy. So, uh, once he sees that you're a little bit awkward, he says, you can give me whatever you would like to now, and I can give you a phone number to call up with the rest of it once you have it. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, in that case, yeah, I can give him the phone number and the hideout address that we're using. Okay, so he takes that down and uh, leaves you 
to be poor. Does he, does he roll his eyes? Oh, yeah. Okay. So you, you, <coughs> you realize you've been um, dissed by the school. <laughs> the I'm already the fuck off. Distinctly unimpressed. At your lack of a machine. So currently, right now... Fucking capitalists, am I right, guys? <laughs> Uh, Tioma, it's time to cash that fucking check because I think what your detective agency needs is a fax. Oh, we got a cash in already? <laughs> and he's ready. He's ready to write in the numbers. Natasha, let's go. Absolutely. Let's just wait. I don't look cool in front of my posh friends. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are absolutely in America because you're taking money from people you can't pay back <laughs> to buy things <laughs> that you don't need in order to impress people. Mm-hmm. I just want to go home to my Russia. Yeah. I'm, I'm homesick for Russia. So uh, I think we've gone around again. So at this point... Uh, it is time to present yourselves. So the prince, first off, begins by making an announcement. Uh, he says, there are uh, new kindred who wish to present themselves here this evening. I will start by uh, introducing uh, Alexei Alexov. He points to you. Um, uh, my own clan who has my permission to remain within this city and feed uh, for the time being. And then I suppose looks, all... Yeah. yeah? He looks? Well, say what you were going to say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just going to say, I suppose I make a, a, a bowing gesture towards, like, the crowd, wherever yes. the center of mass is. Yes, I am Ventru. Give the, <laughs> give the V for Ventru. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> v for Ventru. All right. All right. I should make a peace sign yeah. with the V. There you yeah, go. of course. Hold it up to your eye, close the other eye, tongue out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I was picturing. And so uh, with that handled, uh, Sebastian Lear steps forward and says... Uh, there is a member of my clan who wishes to present himself. Genki. And uh, he basically does this. He just comes out of Obfuscate directly behind Tioma and places a hand on Tioma's shoulder. God. <laughs> oh, Christ. Tioma immediately dies of a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, he's the only guy who lives in That's an actual skill, by the way. <laughs> oh, cool. So do I, like, kneel or something? Well, we know we we were given the uh, among other the things, you shit yourself. But... Presentation. Yeah. You step forward, say your name, who your sire is. I found the phone image. Yes, I'll step forward, get my name, my sire. All right. So, once you have finished presenting yourselves. Uh, Flora Dumal says, there is uh, a member of the Clan of the Rose who wishes to present herself. With absolute grace, I will step forward and say my name and my sire and the traditions or whatever else we're supposed to do. All right. And then there's no one to step forward for the last two. <laughs> We'll just sort of part and look awkward. <laughs> Everyone knows who the two strangers left are. Oof. Hmm. So no one steps forward for Clan Bruja. No one cares. Seem like it. Well, I'll pet seem on the back. Go. What? You go first. Yeah. Yeah. Introduce yourself. Oh, uh, good, I don't, I did not. Good evening, everyone, I am... No, uh, not like that! What the fuck am I doing there? Present yourself to the prince. Oh. Yo, what's up, Holmes? <laughs> good, in that case, yeah. Good evening, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? 
<laughs> okay, no, maybe I should go first then. <laughs> yeah, you should go first, Tom. <laughs> okay, so I just have a premonition of what Seema is going to say, and I go, I'll go first. <laughs> so I will step forward to the prince, bow courteously. I am Yuri of Clan Bruja. I request permission to feed and stay within the city. You have my permission to do so. Thank you. That's how you do it. Thank you, Yuri. Good evening. I am uh, Zima of Clan Bruja. I re request your permission to, stand, to stay in the city and feed. You have my permission to do so as well. Thank you. Well, that went well. <laughs> yeah. Better than any other it than what you were trying to do. <laughs> I like the idea that you're, uh, we kind of swap roles with caretaker now. A <laughs> <laughs> little bit. So I feel like those struggle I've got a feeling from you from the start. As uh, this is going down, eventually uh, a man approaches the two of you and uh, motions for you guys to follow him. Who's that? Sorry, Yuri and Zima. Zima and Yuri, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, who, who motioned for us to follow him? Discord. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I mean, they were the two that were just. I, speaking, I, yeah. So. I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, who's who? What does he look like? What's the dude? Who's the dude? Motion. Uh, he looks uh, kind of like a bruiser, uh, big guy, muscular. I like him already. All right. Well, sure. Follow. So. All right. He takes you uh, <laughs> to uh, see one of the guys who's hanging around. Mm -hmm. Give me a second here. You look up his name. Enrico Jensen? Yes, Enrico. Enrico. So. <laughs> he uh, looks at the two of you. <laughs> he says, I'm not sure exactly how they handle things in uh, the Soviet Union, but it's customary to present yourself to your primogen first. Oh, you are the primogen of the Soviet uh, <sighs> So, I didn't know. You are I am lucky. aware. You should know. You were lucky that we have heard good things about you, Zima. You have? <laughs> really? Why? <laughs> Here's the thing. He actually has a, a merit that applies. He has the, like, clan uh, prestige. <laughs> okay. I do. Right. I have reputation. Gonna, go. You're going to lose that here yeah. very quickly. <laughs> yeah, you're going to lose that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> However... This is not the best way to make a first impression. All right, well, oh well. Given... It all, can it all cancels out in the end. Since you are from so far away, I will assume it was not meant as a deliberate insult. Absolutely not. You have my sincerest apologies. Likewise. This is Likewise. my first time introducing myself to a prince. I am not familiar with the customs of this country. Mm. He kind of grunts at you. And says, uh, well, what's done is done. I will contact you through the appropriate channels if it becomes necessary. Of course. Don't Thank do you. anything to embarrass the clan. <laughs> we will try. So, uh, can I, can I ask, what, why does Zima have any right? Why, where does his recognition come from? Uh, I don't think yeah. it spelled out exactly, but it was sort of implied that it was uh, like writing, as I recall, like his his it's work, scholarly his scholarly mind. work. Yeah, it, back in Russia, basically. You're like a, a philosopher? Not a good one, apparently, but yes. Interesting. That's cool. Yeah, well. All right. Well, he takes this Another leftist professor. 
Oh, so with that done, destroy my academia. <laughs> if there's anyone else you guys want to speak to while you're here, you can do so. But with this done, you don't have to stick around any longer. Well, I don't know if there's anyone else. I think like we should get out of here. Can I? Can I, can I nudge? About his can I nudge? Uh, can I nudge Yuri and just say, uh, Yuri, should we not deal with this letter, this uh, aristocrat's pack? What do you mean, deal with? Well, I mean, I do not know exactly where these I trust are. you took me aside, like way aside for this photo. <laughs> yes, yeah, so so this, yeah, like, this, like, like, this is so like, the corner the the this is like at the corner, this is corner of the room post checking like, okay, is anyone mm. listening? Like, is anyone visibly listening? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Do you know, uh, do you know anything about them? Nothing at all, except that you are supposed to join. Any idea how I would do that? You were the most lucid one last night, I believe. Do I still let her not say? Um, it's actually written on the envelope where you need the, the directions you need to take. Okay. Oh, well, I gave him the envelope as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in that case, I think I shall uh, excuse myself and go sort this out, yes? Shall I follow you? You are welcome to, but uh, no need, no need. I got this. I think... I think there may be a need. But if All of a sudden, certain... like, the scales appear. Like, <laughs> if I'm just not there, I'm farther away from the explosion. But if I'm not there, the explosion could get worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just hmm. bouncing it. All right. If you wish to join me, that is fine. All right, well, we well. take our guns. So we now have ammunition for Hmm. Indeed. All right, yeah, I'll uh, I'll get on a bus and head off. All right, so you guys I'm, I'm following. Uh, you're going to talk to Tito, yes. uh, Alexei, and Tioma. What are you guys doing? Getting out before I make a fool of myself. All right, you're also getting out, Tioma. Uh, we can leave, we can leave the party. Uh, yeah. Mary's going to stick around for a little while longer, or you could leave. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll stick around with her. All right. <laughs> Again, as the escort. I kind of want to travel on my own. <laughs> <laughs> He's... I need this small diminutive good woman to protect me. <laughs> <laughs> He's basically just like the trophy husband that you just have on your I, own. I, I assume. I assume we're essentially like Mina and Tito. Yeah. <laughs> So you approach Mina and Tito. <laughs> oh, I approach Mina and Tito, and I, you know, say, so Tito, Mina tells me that you are a painter. Ah, yes. I've actually just made arrangements with your uh, friend Zima to do his portrait. Zima? Yes? So what's, uh, what is generally your theme? Well, I, you know, do a lot of different work. Uh, some portraits, you know, when it's called for. Uh, mostly, however, I feel myself moved by landscapes. I would enjoy seeing your paintings sometime. Well, he takes out a thing and he gives it to you. He says, uh, you may come by any time. I will be there all night tomorrow. You wish to stop by. Thank you, Tito. That is very kind. All right. We will see you soon. So, you can gracefully make an exit after. <laughs> All right. Nodding too fast, you're really concerned about the whole premiere thing. Mm. So, when Dima presented himself, did the Tremere react or just stare? Uh, they seemed hostile, although being Tremere, mm -hmm. they're always hostile, yes. so but it was they hard more to tell. Hostile than for the it's rest of tough them. to tell because you don't have personal experience with Tremere. Okay. Mm. <laughs> All right. So you guys, uh, so those two are going to the filthy aristocrats pack. Uh, you guys are going back. What exactly? <laughs> what exactly did the KGB team want to do with the rest of the evening? I don't know, Tia. What do you want to do? 
I will say, if you are going to start buying things like fax machines, you may also, now that you've given out your phone number, you may want to consider an answering machine <laughs> as well. Well, how much of our $21 do we have left? Not enough for a fax You're machine. You're pretty much out of money. You have, like, small change for the bus. Okay. Uh, but that's about it. You'll... Probably need it. You're gonna either look at much or you're gonna need the check. Mm -hmm. But we can't, I mean, the check we gotta get there during banking hours. It's true, so that's another problem to solve. So we steal. Well, I don't know that we're gonna steal enough for a fax machine, or a, I mean, we could probably steal the fax machine. I don't know how we're gonna, without have to be a whole shipment thing, you can't just walk in and pocket a fax machine. Mm -hmm. Anyway. We and cut the power. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you may want to think about it if there's any, like, humans you know that could cash it for you. Um, well, humans you've encountered so far, you know that Corduroy runs the store. Oh, uh, I was going to say, the guy at the store, right? You could theoretically talk to a vampire to see if you could use one of their retainers. I would be in debt to them. They would the Anarchs don't do booms, right? Not theoretically, no. So, Corduroy might be the best guy. Who can we trust? Corduroy. <laughs> dominate Corduroy as well, right? You could, yes. That would be considered kind of impolite by the Anarchs. Yeah. Like, if he didn't want to give us the money, we'd be like, yeah. give us the money, right? Yeah. Something so cool. Okay. But the question is, so uh, probably what the KGB team does is go back to the apartment and discuss. And discuss the merits of cashing this check. And How we, much are you going to cash it for? And we, so yeah, so the KGB agents, we just need to debrief over the events <laughs> of the evening. Because there are several issues here. We've got the Sebastian issue. We've got the check. Mm. We've got the Tremier hostility <laughs> No. So anyway, so I don't know if other people would rather do other things. Well, we can handle this now, and then we'll move over to uh, their investigation of the sewers after that. Because that's where it's filthy. That's where the filthy oh. aristocrats are. Sewers. Yep, they're descending into the sewers. All right. There's always a sewer level yeah. in these games. Yeah. Well, it's gonna be a Watch out for alligators. Thing. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, you guys should make your plans now and then we'll handle that. Alright, so um Alright. Well I it's really up to Tiama here. I'm gonna do you want do you actually want to cash this check and for how much if so? Um I would prefer to cash the check when we are in some great need. Uh, I feel like this isn't in that level of great. Well, the thing is, is that when you're in great need, you can't use a check right. that's made out to cash. So if we cash the check and just have some money on hand, possibly, we, we, I really feel like we need to get a different haven. And you're getting money for that. Yes, and we're probably, if you do some sort of investigation work, it, we're going to need a place, a public area where we can meet people, such as an office or something like that. With a fax machine. With fax machine <laughs> and computer. Alexei can be your secretary or whatever. You can type on the computer all your data in the computer. Um... So there's that option. So, I mean, if you're just going to just become Sebastian, uh, the question here is, Star Wars, do you just want to be Sebastian's bitch and just, and just make that decision? Or, or how long do you want to draw it out before you become his bitch? <laughs> well, it'd be great if I didn't have to be his bitch. Um, <laughs> but... This kind of seems inevitable, so. Yeah. yeah. And we could at least you maybe know, get some things set up. <laughs> we could at least eight. Eight. Yeah, we we can. Yeah, let's 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 just say fuck it and go ahead and steer into this. 
steer into the curve, right? So, <laughs> right? Best stall yes, exactly. um, <laughs> so strategy ever. How much money are you going to take from this? Yeah, that will be the question. How much money <laughs> do you think you're going to need? Uh, I would say enough to get us a new haven. Uh, yes, enough to get us a new haven. Um, and I suppose, and you know, instead of actually renting renting a, a little office place, we could uh, I could just work out of the haven in a separate room or something. Well, do we want people to know where we're at? That's a good point. Shit. Well, the thing is, is you may not have a choice for at least the near yeah, future. That's true. Because an office could, we and a haven would be... We could just do an office that'll be our haven be for a while, our... and then once we get established... Expand. Yeah, we, expand, you know, yeah, we get expand. Get a little more uh, secretive. So, yeah. All right, and uh, you know, I'll probably use a little bit. You know, we we gonna get to New Haven. I'm gonna work out New Haven, but also I'm gonna get a little. You know, I'm gonna use a little bit to, you know, get myself a little, a little personal library. You know, not nothing big, just just a little something so I can start learning some more stuff about my, about my craft. All right. And uh, All right. you know, maybe buy a gun or two, some ammo, and uh, that'll be it. Look at a little spreading around money too. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know. Oh my! So, how much are you thinking? What's get? What's the number you're gonna put down? Okay, let's see. How, how much, much would a haven cost? Um. Well, it depends on how nice of a place you get. I'm assuming we're not gonna have that nice place. Yeah. Yeah. It's not gonna be like because oh, you're gonna you're gonna you're you're advertising in the seedy section yeah. of town. They're not gonna wanna go to And how many months of rent do you wanna get in advance? Exactly. Well So things are less expensive in the eighties, although you're in Miami, so that's kind of a up rent neighborhood. Well I'm thinking a place that's like a step above where we're all right now, and I'm thinking you may have to go down and I'm talk thinking, to the to see where these places are, because I don't know that we know the corduroy. Right? Yeah, corduroy. Let's see if there's anything available. That's a good idea. Get well, yeah. Paper. See what the rent, what the rental market is like. Um, yeah, looking around uh, again, it depends how much rent you want, how much spending money you want. Like if we're talking about round numbers, you could probably get away with like ten thousand dollars. Getting most of the stuff. Kind of leaning toward ten thousand. Yeah, I was thinking about that number. That, that's that's a good number. It's the Malkavians planting that number in our heads. You know that. Well, I just I, I don't want to use that number and then you know Sebastian come up like what the hell like ten thousand dollars really. It's true. But it's true. then again, if he got the type of clout to be dropping blank checks on people, yeah, you know, he, I, 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 I feel like he can. I feel like he can swing ten thousand. We're just gonna owe him for the rest of our own lives. <laughs> oh yeah, he probably gonna say ten thousand, but oh yeah, I got them for a good long time. Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> until 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 he sends us on a mission that kills us, we're we're yeah. Pretty much, but you know, we'll we'll come we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Yeah, of course, yes. So we're filling in ten thousand dollars, sending corduroy to cash the check. Apparently so. All right. Yes, and right. sealing our fates. We're pushing the button on this. All right. Okay. So and now the tamper of God's <laughs> domain atom bomb explodes. And now we'll deal with the other two. So you guys follow the directions, and it leads you into, uh, like, the sewers. Uh, it takes you over to, like, a storm drain, and then it just says, descend. And then that's how it ends. Repeat that, please. 
Uh, basically, the direction they give you takes you to a storm drain, and it tells you to descend, and then that's how the instructions end. All right, then. Oh, is this us? Yep. Okay. Yeah. A yeah, motion okay. for Seema to descend. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll lift the storm drain and head on down. All right. So you slosh. Uh, is there a ladder, or am I just jumping? You pretty much just jump, yeah. You slosh down. It's like uh, one of those big storm drains for, like, it. And you uh, just clamber down into it. And uh, splash down into the dark sewers. All righty. Uh, hello? Call out. Is there anyone uh, in there? Yeah, your voice echoes through the sewers, but there's no immediate response. Although, from where you are, it looks like there's only one way for you to go. All right. Lead the way. Uh, you he shouts from in above the ground where he stays. <laughs> I head in. I catch, I catch him as he falls, like a delicate leaf on the wind. I'm not falling. I have free dexterity. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys both splash. You start splashing through the disgusting sewer water. And uh, oh boy. Yeah, you're just going along, and uh, it starts to get like it starts twisting and turning around. And then you is start it, to is hear... the way to go still clear? Or I, li I like to make sure we are still only following one path. Like yeah, so far, yes. I mean, there are, like, weird little, like, tunnels that you could go off, but they're, like, tiny, like, pipes, basically. They're not even, like, tunnels you yeah. can walk down. It's pipes yeah. that, like, maybe you could squish yourself inside of, but it'd be very difficult and you don't think. And they probably get smaller. Yeah. Gotcha. Go. All right. So yeah, keep just keep following the path until right. we hit something, I suppose. Yeah, as you're going, you start to hear like some strange sounds though reverberating through the sewers. What sounds like growling of some kind, like an animal. Oh, uh, acute sense hearing. Can I make out wh where it's coming from? Oh yeah, uh, it's coming from inside of those pipes. Like as you pass through, it seems like there are animals inside them. Oh, I will um, inform him too. Move very um, stealthily. It, it doesn't really sound like any animal you're familiar with. It's sort of like a dog. Like, it sounds like it's about the size of a dog, maybe. But it doesn't sound quite right. Like, you don't think it actually is a dog. All right. Can I pull Yuri to the side? And just... what, what, what do you hear? An unknown animal. So you should be very, very quiet. Well, I don't know. I think this is a problem we should deal with up front. We can't make. We, can, we have to make noise going through this water. Don't I would send rather, it I would, on you. you. Just scream out, would, "Hey, you guys!" No, no. <laughs> uh, I kind of pull Yuri, kind of pull, both put our backs against the wall, uh, and kind of hammer on one of the pipes with a gun. Why? Right. Because it will come out of, because it will attack that pipe, so we know where it's coming from. So you tap on one of the pipes, and then the growling stops. Mm -hmm. And you guys are just sort of left there in the sewer. <laughs> it's like you were knocking on the wall to make it shut up. All right. Well, it worked. Keep moving. All right. So as you guys continue to splash through the water, okay. uh, you uh, eventually come into a large uh, sort of opening, and it looks like there are uh, several figures just kind of floating in the water here. Floating face down or standing? Yeah, it looks water. like it. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yuri, your eyes are better than mine. Can you see it? Can I? Uh, yeah, so you can see that there are definitely sort of humanoid figures floating in the water. There are some actual lights in this chamber, although it doesn't really illuminate them that well. Uh, you could investigate further if you wanted to. Um, you can see they look sort of bloated and deformed. Okay. So I'm there sure they're not moving by themselves, correct? It does not seem like they're propelling themselves, no. Okay, I'll... Cover up my hands in something and uh, see if I can investigate. All right. So 
So you turn over one of the bodies, and you can see that it seems like a dead body that someone has left in a sewer in Miami in the heat and the humidity for a really, really long time. Oh, boy. Uh, and then you can see that it seems like it's also been gnawed on by some kind of strange animal. And... Uh, Almost Where are the bite marks, exactly? as if in response to this, you hear a terrific roar, and all of a sudden, a massive alligator emerges from the water directly in front of you and snaps at you. So I'm going to need a dexterity <laughs> plus dodge. Holy shit. Dexterity plus dodge. Okay, that's a four, using a willpower point. Okay. Nice. Yeah, you like splash backwards and start swimming really quick uh, away from this thing. Uh, it is huge. Like, you think alligators are big normally. Uh, this one looks several sizes larger than that. Uh... Oh boy, we're fighting Gustave. Yeah, you remember Resident Evil 2? It looks like that. So, oh no! Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, and you're not an expert, but you don't think your handguns are probably going to penetrate its hide. Okay. So, this is a very quick point. Uh, this is Gustave. Is this about right? If it ever decides to load. There we go. Um, there's a, there's uh, a, a little bit bigger than that, but yeah. Okay. Let me find a picture of the exact thing he's referencing. <laughs> it's big, anyway. Yeah, here's the thing. It's big. So, so uh, what, what, does he, what does he do after Yuri dodges out of the way? Uh, it starts coming after you guys. I'm not sticking I, around to find I out. I assume Yuri is okay. continuing to move away. Basically, he's swimming towards you, presumably, and the alligator is coming after him. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll turn and run. Turn and run with you, <laughs> I think. Alright, give All right. me a strength plus athletics. Uh... Almost. Uh, five. Uh, plus your potence? Three. Uh, eight. So eight total. All right. You have negative two potence. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you start booking it down this hallway the way you came. Uh, Yuri. Don't fucking leave me here. Assuming you would also like to follow after him, what is your strength plus athletics? That is three and a willpower point again. All right. If I ever get the chance to obfuscate, I will take it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you start following after him, and it seems like the alligator is just about to basically rip you apart when you get into the tunnel, and it seems like the alligator is actually slightly too big to follow after you. Um, and it basically is snapping right at your back as you go past it. Uh, Zima is a little ways ahead of you, and then both of you can see that out of the pipes on the other way, though... Now, uh, blocking your escape, uh, giant rats the size of, like, dogs start crawling out of the pipes to block your way. Okay. Okay. How many? Um, I'll roll for it. Oh, <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. So that didn't that... sound good. <laughs> All right, so that is eight of them total. That's okay. a lot. I, I, I don't imagine they're especially dangerous. But uh, eight, eight, eight of yeah. them, yeah. As much as a rat the size of, like, a Doberman can be, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... Well, I'm going to put it like this. I imagine I would get hit three times if I'm lucky, and then I would be out of commission. It's basically the as dangerous as a dog would be in real life, except that also it's been fed, fed vampire blood, so it also has potence. Oh, okay, right, yeah, fucking run. <laughs> uh. So, they are now blocking your exit, and the alligator's on the other side, so it seems like you guys are in big trouble when all of a sudden they all stop. And then... From out of another one of the pipes, a horribly disfigured figure emerges. Uh, good, uh, good, good evening, evening to you. Good evening, friend. Do I have to roll a charisma for this one, too? Because <laughs> I don't really want to. 
He looks at the two of you and then says, I expect you have a good explanation. We were uh, told to come here. I have a letter. I don't know if it's... Uh, I have a letter signed by the... Uh, don't tell the, him who signed it! I have a letter here. <laughs> As you're talking about the letter, she basically walks up and snatches it out of your hand and reads it. I do not, I do not compete against that. He could do what he likes. <laughs> All right. So he looks through and then says, oh, you're here to see the priest. Yes, exactly. Why don't you say Apparently so? Apparently we're me. here to see the priest. He turns around and then he crawls through one of the tiny pipes. Okay, let's uh, follow him. You first. <laughs> Can we follow? Right, we're not that. We can't uh, squish ourselves down. It's going to be a dexterity again. plus athletics for you to try and squish your way through. All right, dexterity plus athletics. That's four. All right. Same here. <laughs> so you guys crawl into this tiny little pipe. I hope no, no one has the claustrophobia flaw, right? Uh, no. no, I don't. All right. <laughs> Alexei, <laughs> from miles away, comments that he, <laughs> he just gets a tingle. Oh, I'm glad I don't have claustrophobia. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh, you guys go pretty slow, because Zima went in first, and he's having a little bit of trouble getting his body through there. Uh, Yuri, you managed to get through pretty easily behind him. You're mostly waiting on him. Um, there are a couple moments where it seems like you've actually fully stuck yourself in there and have a little bit of a panic attack, but you managed to push your way through. And eventually, both of you emerge into uh, an actually nicely decorated part of the sewer. It's still damp, but there are electric lights and, uh, like, seats. And there's a television, and it's made up like an apartment, basically. So, the uh, person who got up ahead of you is already there with a strange-looking figure, like an asexual figure completely hairless which stands uh, about five feet tall and is very frail except for its head which is large and bulbous kind of like a light bulb and it okay. bows as you enter it does it not fall over it's a bit too heavy to bow isn't it it doesn't seem to weird okay i'll just get out the pipe and do it after the uh we have an invite? I, uh, I'm very confused. I see that my friend the bishop has sent you to me. Which one is the one I'm to examine? Uh, the point of Zima. Yeah, I'll hold my hand off into that for me. Alright. He says, please, undress completely. Okay. I take all my clothes off. Alright. So, once you're uh, completely naked, he starts to examine you. He says, uh, hmm, I could make some improvements. Uh, improvements to what, exactly? Hmm. <clears throat> Something is not quite what it could be. If you are referring to my arm, I must admit I have noticed that it is uh, missing something. Yes, and your arm could use some work as well. <laughs> So, he uh, looks it over and then says, Oh, I see. Yes, this is certainly what he was referencing. And then he looks over, he kind of feels it. Uh, feels, kind of tries to work the flesh a little bit. And you can see he's like altering the muscle and tendons on your arm. Ooh. And then, uh, when he's finished, he says, Yes. I think that the uh, Cold Dune will certainly want to see this. The, uh, the who That's bad. He Would says, he know what a Cold Dune is? I will be uh, giving you a further recommendation for you to take to him. Uh, he is a specialist, and he will certainly be very interested by this case. Uh, you'll have to excuse me. I am a. Uh... I am very lost. Would you mind uh, if I ask you some questions? You don't need to know any of the answers yourself. The Cold Dune will handle it. Uh, would he know what a Cold Dune is? Should I explain to him? 
Yeah, would, would I? Is it something I should know or would know? Or uh, what is your guys' occult ratings? I have three, so I'll probably know. Yeah, you would know. Uh, zero. Yeah, I, 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 I I'll go yeah. and whisper to him. A Kuldun is a uh, Simiti sorcerer. Oh, oh boy! It's bad. Indeed. Well, I have taken quite enough of your time. If I could have my clothes back, I will uh, be out of your hair. Just a moment. That was a, that was a poor am, choice. Uh, of preparing the recommendation for you. Uh, I will give. It will have directions on it to lead you to the cold dune. Very well. And then he goes over to a uh, stretched out uh, sheet of skin, which he begins to make markings on. And then once he's finished, he basically rolls it up and then hands it over to you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, boy. Well, it has been wonderfully, wonderful meeting you all, gentlemen. I feel we should leave. All right. Before, what, before that, though, the um, rats blocking our way. They Could will, you perhaps help us with that? They will not trouble you on the way out. Ah, thank you very much. I will warn you, uh, you have not attracted the attention of the Tremere, correct? I, I haven't, have he? Uh, you should be very I... careful not to let them see your arm. They will want to experiment on you if they are made aware of your condition. <laughs> as long as you lay low and do not attract their notice, it should be no problem. Wow, that was a really shit charisma roll, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, oh, my boy, I see my... I, but I am afraid I have made a few enemies in my time here, intentionally or not. I do not know if they were... Uh, intentionally or not. If they have... Really intentional noticed you that I would recommend you uh, get to the cold dune as quickly as you feel possible. Very good. Thank you for the advice. I will I will I will follow it to the best of my abilities. Alright. Well, he sends you on your way and true to his word, the animals do not uh, stop you in any way on your way back out. Okay, very good. I did, I did get my clothes back, didn't I? I'm not just wondering. Uh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. He did give you your okay, clothes good. back. Okay, good. All right. So yeah, everyone we... makes it back out to the haven in time to fall asleep. Okay. And uh, we'll take off another blood point. All righty. I am actually getting somewhat low now. <laughs> All right. Uh... So, uh, yeah, the next evening, everyone wakes up again, and I think we have time to handle probably the first few things for this night. Okay. First thing I would like to do is just immediately just go to the city of Kuldun. All right. So the directions he gave you actually lead you out of the city and into the Everglades. So in order to do that, you are going to need to arrange for a vehicle to take you. I can afford a decent fare, a taxi or ferry service. Yeah. So, uh, are you are you bringing me? Should I? I should ask. You're welcome to come. I would not dream to force you. I will come. I, <laughs> course I have nothing you're, you're, to do. Your horrible, horrible danger sense is tingling. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. That is your diplomacy sense. You know it will be needed, and I'm not the man to do it. You are definitely not. You have proof of that. <laughs> All I said was hello. <laughs> so, you make a, uh, you call up your car service, uh, find a call ser car service, call them up, and uh, make arrangements to head out to the Everglades. It's going to take uh, quite a bit of money. But uh, How much? Uh, it's going to take... Uh, probably a lot of your ready cash. Uh, how much? Can can I haggle him down? Uh, well, they've got set prices. I would have to, uh, look it up. Yeah. But it's going to take probably a couple hundred dollars. All right, well, yeah, that's, that should be fine. All right. 
As for uh, the rest of you, <clears throat> Corduroy has come through, and he's got uh, $10,000 in cash for you to start up your detective business. Make it, uh, thank you, sir. All right. So, uh, and he can also, he's gotten the paper and circled out uh, some offices for you as well that you may want to look into. All right. Um, I'll also ask him uh, where could a where could a man procure some uh, firearm? Ah. Well, he says if you uh, just leave some money with me, I can arrange something for you. Excellent. Uh, what sort of uh, guns leave- are you looking for? I uh, would well, like a, uh, oh, like a handgun, uh, you know, very, you know, powerful, but also easily handled. Uh, and I would also like uh, a shotgun, uh, sawing off, if possible. All right. Uh, and um. For the handgun, you know, hollow points would be preferred. For the uh, shotgun, if possible, incendiary rounds would be preferred. All right, well, I can uh, look into it. Uh, he asks uh, to, for you to give him $1,000, and he'll see what he can get for you. Thank you. All right. And then he uh, asks around while he's going out shopping the next day, is there anything else any other players would like to uh, have him buy for them? Mm. Like a fax machine? I already got my gun. Fax machine would be nice. A printer or something, yeah. Shotgun, handgun, fax Do you want to get a P.O. box set up as well? You can set up a P.O. box for you, yeah. Do you want to get it going? Uh, well, uh, he's gonna be getting um, guns uh, for a Tioma, so. So I can't have one? Well, yeah, I mean, you can have one of his. Can I have one of yours? Uh, I mean, I'll ask him if he can get an extra handgun. And Rem, you already have, already have a your KGB sidearm as well. Ah, uh, true. Uh, yeah, I'll, um... Yeah, I'll let you uh, get one on one of the guns, but um, you know, you're gonna owe me a little something. So. <laughs> now that you're part of the Camarilla and you uh, accept boons. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, is that a yes? You know, I'm, I'm just waiting to type it down. That's all I want. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, so uh, that what? That's a minor. It's more, yeah, minor a trifling boon. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> As part of some some ransom chores, I will do. <laughs> he takes on the life boon to get the money, and then he starts <laughs> wheedling the money and like minor boons from everyone around him. Yeah, seriously. All right. Well, I think we're uh, pretty much set up for the uh, next session then. All right. Mm-hmm. So uh, we can handle the voting. Who was, I believe it was Boxy that won the uh, role-playing award last time? Yeah, that's yeah. correct. So uh, you then get to vote first for this week. Well, I... La. Let me think. If someone else could go first, then I can just think. Uh, I liked Miles today. Yeah. He had yeah. some fun interactions. Uh, yeah, 
Actually, Sydney I do like her. her. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I'll go with Miles as well. Right. Yes. Uh, I'd give it to Alright, Alright, Stalworth? Yeah, I'm going I'm to have to go with Miles. Alright, it's enough. So, uh, Miles picked up five experience points. Everyone else gets four. Alright. Oh, boy. Alrighty. Uh, How much experience is everyone else on? Thirteen. Thirteen. All right, that's the same as me. Yeah. Yeah. You won a role playing award first time. Our fire call. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I've been slacking. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing slacking. good. Slacking. Star, you are pretty good at role playing. Actually. Yeah, I'm. I'm enjoying the, the kind of paranoiac, like. It's fun. The sedated paranoia, I suppose. Thank you. Yeah, I, I had really, to ease my way into it. <laughs> I really wish you would have been there for the um, session I described earlier, where he faked Abigail's death. <laughs> hey, that, that had to be my crown hey, of achievement. It's recorded. It was you can watch good. the video. Oh, yeah. It's, it is recorded. <laughs> oh, boy. There is um, one more thing. It was the... Um, the interview, not interview, but the um, report he had to give about what he would do to him. David's character's wife. Yeah. That was also a good one. Common sense. Oh, uh, gosh. There was one guy that went through uh, and commented on a lot of those videos, and uh, he really liked that part. <laughs> I can imagine. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Easily. With pleasure. And then as soon as he leaves the room, he just turns to David. I'm really sorry, man. I had to do this. <laughs> Joseph was a class act. He was great. <laughs> I hate him. Very nice. We can't spend uh, experience points yet, can we? No. Ah, oh, damn it. It's actually, uh, you guys are moving uh, a little bit slower through this than I thought you would, so... What if I were to tell you I was going to purchase a point of Auspex with it? Yeah, makes sense. Bestest. Would you let me do it ahead of time? <laughs> uh, you don't get it, but you can... Uh... Ah, never mind. <laughs> right. I'm going to head off, so I All will right. talk to you later. Yep, see you later. See you later. See you later. Bye. Yep, yeah, I'll head off too. Bye-bye. See ya. See ya. Alright, so Focus. communism. Listen, Stallworth. Yeah? Have you been thinking hard enough about what we've been indoctrinating out in? Educating you with. Well, you know, it's been, a, it's been a long, like, month and a half since we last talked about it, so you know, I've kind of <laughs> I kind of been slowly been drawn back into, you know, capitalism. Mm. See, this is the problem. You let your environment poison you. Yeah, you're right. You know, that, that 4th of July celebration came around, and I just got that, that all warm fuzzies about America. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Did you celebrate May Day? Very true. Uh, I don't think I did. <laughs> See? You can get those warm, fuzzy feelings about the International Workers' Revolution. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thankfully, my job doesn't offer uh, paid time off, so I'll be at work during most of them holidays. Yeah, see, that's the kind of you know you would you have paid time off system. if America was socialist. <laughs> <laughs> but see, if we had regulations to protect the rights of workers, that wouldn't yeah. be the way it is. I I, I hear what y'all saying. I hear what y'all saying. <laughs> Do you hear the people's? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, since you had your thing with your license, I've actually had my own license expire and then like gone in and gotten a new one, so. And did that take long? Uh, it actually did take, it took uh, a little while to actually do it because I had to go down to the DMV and get a new picture taken. Mm. So that took like an hour. Thankfully, my DMV visit was uh, 
was pretty quick. But then again, I live in a very like well, it's not really small, but it's like it's like what less than ten thousand people. Yeah, yeah. Small enough. Huge. Yeah, I, I got in. I got out in like twenty minutes. But it also helps that the person at the counter was very uh, understanding of my situation. <laughs> oh, that's always close. You didn't person tell them that you've been driving house. without a license for like a year, right? Folks, sake. <laughs> yes. Like, I, when I got up to the desk and I pulled out my license, he was like, oh, it's expired. He was like, yeah. I was like, oh, it's expired for a year now. I was like, yeah. And, and then like, you told him, I haven't driven for a year. <laughs> like, literally, it expired. I went in on Friday. He was like, it expired uh, July, I think, like, 6th of 2018. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it had just been a year. Yeah, that, that was uh, one of the things that uh, is, like, your ID still counts as, like, a form of identification for the purpose of getting a new ID, at least in Oregon, for a year after it expires. But after that, you have to bring in, like, your birth certificate. Yeah, I actually had, um, I had to um, have my uh, Social Security yeah. uh, card yeah. and also two... Um, two uh, pieces of mail to show that I actually live here. Yeah. It's important. Yeah, go, this this past few days have shown me like the the type of stuff you need to prove that, you know, you are who you say you are when you don't have a license or like a passport. Oh yeah. So I think now what we need to do is uh, we just need to get Stalworth involved in uh, philosophy studies. 